I'm screwed. Hey. Hey guys. What up? Maybe I didn't know. Oh. No, that's good. Oh, it was the music. It was the music. It was the music. It was the music. <laughs> hey guys, it's uh, great to be back. We're back on the bourbon blend. We are here tonight, and I am Courtney, and this is my amazing husband, Jay. And we are here tonight to discuss some amazing Alabama whiskeys and bourbon. Uh, yeah, they're, kind of, they're called that. Yes. But they're kind of not, but whatever. It, it, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to taste it and see what we think. They're Alabama style whiskeys for there the most go. part. So, I mean, for what it's worth. Yeah, mm -hmm. Whatever, we'll so go we, with it. So we missed you guys last week. Uh, it was it was devastating to not be hanging out with you guys. Yes. But uh, we were in Atlanta yes, at we a were. place called Local 3. Local 3. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had some bourbon with our friends from AuburnSports.com, and we yes. drank some good shit. We had a lot of good bourbon. Yeah, we did. We did. We had a lot of good bourbon. We had um, We tasted, first of all, some Peerless. Then we tasted some Old Forester 1920. And then we finished it off with Four Roses Single Barrel. So Jay got a pick, I got a pick, and then it was a where's mutual our, pick. Where's our placard? Uh, at the house Bo somewhere. Thumbs down. Yeah, I didn't bring it. I'm sorry. I did not bring props tonight. But then uh, we had some post-game drinkage. <laughs> yes, after that we had, uh, they had a lot of different bourbon and it was delicious. Call Me Biscuit uh, provided a lot. Of brown water afterwards. Yes, he did. Uh, we drank Old yes, Forester 1924. We drank uh, Parker's Heritage Double Barrel Heritage. Blend. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, I had plenty of 1924, so my I man. Didn't uh, extra. I better not say what his name is, but uh, my man brought uh, 150th anniversary Four Roses for me to suck on too. Wow. No, it was contraband. The contraband. Uh, but anyway, place. that's an amazing place. Yes. Uh, although the folks there were trying to argue about whether it was in Buckhead or not. <laughs> It's a bucket. Some said it was in enough. Paces. Some said it was in Buckhead, but I mean, either way. Us out-of-towners don't know about any, anything called Paces. It was pretty we know about rad. Bucket. Uh, let's see. We've got, I know, Cuz in the house. Uh, Tim the Toolman is with us as well. O-Tag. Uh, Raven, who we're going to be seeing plenty of this weekend. Kanuman, who I wish would be down in Orange Beach, but oh, I don't think he's going to make it. Uh, E-256, one of the part of the Madison Mafia. Uh, Mike B. in the house from the great hey. state. The fantastic state of Indiana. For Hoosier Hospitality is no accident. It is no accident. Uh, also, Runner24 coming in from the Northeast. Glad to have you here, bro. Was was there an Olive Garden nearby for a post-bourbon bite to eat? Well no. done, sir. We actually did not well have um, after our food. <laughs> we just, we had a delicious burger there. And um, so we actually did not have any extra that's surprising. Normally, after we have a lot That's of right. beverage, we have to hit a little something up <laughs> to make it better. You have to hit something. <laughs> make it. Up. Oh, stop! You do too. <laughs> and Cuz says the shirt is bringing it. Uh, it's very. It, it is very ready for it's summer. Very, it's very beachy and summery. It's very ready along for with my summer. light blue shorts that I'm wearing. So mm -hmm. I'm feeling it. We're going to be going to the Bunker Beach Bourbon Bonanza Bonanza <laughs> in Orange Beach tomorrow. Um, well, it's Saturday. But we're going to Orange Beach. Oh, yeah, tomorrow. we're going. Yeah. We're going to Orange Beach. Uh huh. Tomorrow. We're going to Orange Beach tomorrow. And so we're going to be doing that on Saturday at Chip Chip's Place there in Orange Beach. Uh, I think Raven is going to probably be there. I think yeah, uh, looking forward Cuz to Cuz from across the street, Becky, are going to be there as well. And uh, hopefully we're going to have lots of cool people hanging out and drinking. We're going to have lots of brown water. More and brown lots water. Of hydration. Hi hydration, yes. Hydration is important. Bourbon naps. Bourbon naps are important. They are important, but we they don't want to have too. Many. Too many. All right. Do you want to? What do we want to start with tonight? We've got bourbon to drink. We've got bourbon to drink. We've got a video. We've got a haul video to Let's go Let's do through. our bourbon. We've first. got photos. We'll go ahead and start these guys. And uh, Otag wants to know if I've got my Crocs on with that. No, I'm no, wearing my Asics. He should. Doesn't he look like he just walked a, a like he looks like he was in, um, oh, damn, was that movie? That movie you love so much. Um, uh, bowling movie. Uh, Big Lebowski. Big Lebowski. <laughs> hey, JB is in the hizzle. Hey, JB. Uh, JB DC Elite. Oh. And he wants to know what bourbon pairs nicely with a coaching search. <laughs> well, Auburn should know really well because they're very used to a coaching search. So Wait, what? Oh, it's true, though. Not in basketball, but There's football, some chatter some from some places that Bruce Pearl could be a candidate. 
at University of Kentucky. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, man, he seems a little old for that job. Not, I'm no ragging on you, BP. I'm just well, saying. speaking of old, I love the idea of Rick Pitino going back. That would just, that would be great. That would be great. I would love that. Tim the Toolman Taylor says, rundown spinoff with AA over bourbon. Um, that's kind of what this is, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Revenge is currently at dinner. Hope to get back on soon. If not, catching the re-air later tonight. Have a great show. All right. Revenge. Thank you. Can't wait to see you, brother. All uh, right. So which of these are we starting out with? Let's so, start out with the Alabama. Uh, so we're going to talk about these little bottles. So they came in a little tiny package at the ABC store. And I was like, you know what? These are so cute. And they were $9 for the three. And so I said, we're just going to break this out and try it's it. Affordable. It's affordable. I can deal with $9. I don't feel like I'm coughed up a whole lot for that. And... We're going to support the alcohol in Local. the great state of Local. Alabama. <laughs> Local. Yes. Um, so we have some Clemets rye. You're on your own with that one. I have some Diet Coke over here. I might be able to make that happen. Um, and why can't you're going to have to read these because I don't have my granny glasses on. Uh, this is going to be the Alabama style, and then this is their straight. Um, Clemets is allegedly an Alabama product, but right now they're based in Florida. And this stuff's from Indiana. However, they are building a new epicenter uh, in Troy, Alabama, mm -hmm. in Pike County, Alabama, and that will be open this year. They've been saying that for six years, but I think this year it actually is going to be open. Yeah, it's damn near open now. But uh, it will be down there in Troy, and they will start distilling true Alabama spirits uh, probably later this year. Mm -hmm. I reckon. Right now, it's pretty much Detling, John Emerald, and uh, there's one other one in Opelika whose name escapes me, but. Mm. We really like Detling. Yeah, Detling was good. We had a, I had a bad experience with Clyde Mays the first time that I started yeah. getting this shit. We went to a tasting at the Tipping Point, and I it was, was like, and I was like, ooh, it tastes terrible. I love it. Corey W. in the house, one half of the uh, terrific Montgomery Power couple. Yes. Uh, what up, Corey? Corey said something today that was the straightest thing he'd said all day. So he couldn't wait to give me a hug. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, and Tool Tam says, uh, Tool Man says, Corey, dub. All right, so we'll start off with Alabama style, okay? Let me get the graphic up here. I, of course, where's our graphics people, Courtney? I don't know where they go. Oh, oh, God, there they are. There's. I gotta finish what are we? Our pregame. Our pregame was um, our usual pregame of little old granddad 114. It's way oh, to start off the night. Always a good one. It's always a, a good one to start with. So here's the here's the trick about this bourbon. Okay, is it bourbon? There, no, it's whiskey. Okay. Uh, their interpretation of Alabama style. Means that it's got an apple twist on it. Like he, for some reason, apple. they decided that it needed to have an apple taste to be Alabama style. I don't know what the fucking story is with that. Oh, I actually kind of smell that now. That you said okay. that. Okay. So thirty-five ish for a bottle. Of course, what we paid was like six bucks for five yeah. bucks for this. Thirty-five uh, ish, eighty-five proof, which is really low. Uh, four years old. This is whiskey, not bourbon, because I think the apple stuff is just kind of like an additive, mm. which you can't really do. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, emphasizes apple notes slash taste. This is their entry level stuff here. I mean, it smells good, but it definitely smells flavored. It smells like my grandma's basement in a good way, <laughs> and also apple. It's not bourbon. No, it's just super light. Mm -hmm. Tastes like apple water. I wouldn't say it tastes like water. It's got a, it's got a very late, like little, there's a little burn in this late. I don't understand why at 85 huh. proof. I feel, I just had old granddad 114 before this and I'm oh, feeling a little burn. It, yeah. No, now I'm feeling a little burn from this. That didn't make any sense. No, just very gentle. It is a longer burn, but it's gentle. It's not strong. Yeah. Um, it's about what I thought I was getting. We'll just put it there that way. <laughs> yeah, I am it's always, okay. I'm not, I'm not a... I'm a bourbon snob in that it takes a lot for me not to, to pick up something and drink it thinking it's bourbon and it's not from Kentucky. I have to. It's I gotcha. just I'm, I'm snobbish like that about Kentucky bourbon. I actually <laughs> like this more than I thought I would. It is very light. You definitely have apple. I taste it a lot in the back end. It's vaguely sweet. This would be a great beginner bourbon. Like somebody who's really softy who doesn't know shit about it's what they're doing. Bourbon. Like Jeff Vinson. Oh. Uh, we would give him a little bit of this and say, oh, yeah, it's really good, bro. It's really strong. He keeps up drinking bourbon when we're... Yeah, Jeff, it's really strong, keep, bro. He has to keep the Kentucky roots going there with the bourbon enthusiasts. Uh, Mike says, I do not see any Black Label five-year single barrel. Is that the one you did not like? So 
Mike, I'm going to be honest, bro. I was ripped when I was doing it, so I don't remember which one I didn't like. It was probably the rye. But we have, we're getting ahead of ourselves here, but we have their straight bourbon. We have a six-year, so not the five-year, but the six-year uh, select. And then we also have the 13-year uh, cask strength that Cuz and Becky Very nice to uh, share. generously uh, lent to us yes. tonight. So that's what we're going to be hitting. I don't know, Mike. We're going to see. I already took a sip of the red one. Because I thought that was the one that had given me the PTSD. Uh, but it, no, it was fine. We'll get there. Uh, charcoal briquettes, I don't know, maybe two and a half. It's completely yeah, right down the middle for maybe, me. Maybe maybe a two for me. I, I was thinking maybe like $20 for this. Like it would it would fight with Old Tub and Evan Williams it White Label. Better. Well, Evan Williams White Label is pretty good, Jay. I agree. I, I, think, I, just probably this the, is, I don't think this is as good as that. Sorry. I would drink this on a hot ass day, though. Like a 90 degree day. I don't know. I'm going to make a little cocktail here and have the rye. Like right now? Mm -hmm. Look, I'm having a little, little Diet Coke. What the fuck are you doing? A little Diet Coke. This is sacrilege. No, it's not. Corn, that's a... a little Diet Coke. Oh, my and God. And I'm going to try that. This is the only time I'm going to have something that is actually a rye. It has to be a <laughs> Diet Coke. said it was a cheap something. shot, Courtney. <laughs> what was a cheap shot? That he uh, could keep up with the... No, that he's... That was you. I know, I know. I didn't say it. Tim says, oh. distilled in Indiana but bottled in Florida, comma, a question mark. That's interesting. Yeah, it is. So they, they try to make it look like it's an Alabama thing, but it's not, at least at this point. Now, it's going to change. When they get their headquarters uh, open and going in Troy, they're going to start distilling yeah. there, and then it will really... That really rye is like minty. Oh, boy. A minty rye. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take a little... I'm gonna need I mean, it. I had to put it in with some Diet Coke because I don't drink rye. I am going to regret this. <laughs> tell, me if you, tell me if you get mint from it. I smell regret. <laughs> what the fuck? What is that smell? There is a smell. It does smell it's like sheet. sheet. No, it actually doesn't. Um, what is that smell? I told you it's like mint. It's, it I I, it mint. is kind of minty. I get a mint. Okay, here it comes. This I'm not. I'm gonna regret this. Tastes like mouthwash. Yeah. Yeah. Very light. Light mouthwash. Yeah. Oh, like it's listerine light. <laughs> like half mouthwash and half water. Is this it's, the it's, point when we know we're not going to be uh, getting not, an endorsement? <laughs> this is, no, I, no. We've actually met uh, L. C. May, who yeah. is his uh, Clyde May's grandson, <laughs> who's like the big guy right now with them, and he was incredibly generous and friendly. Um, but I don't think they're going to be like, you know what? I want to be on the bourbon blend because <laughs> they talk about ours. Tasting guys, so this is their sweet. bottom of the shelf shit. They have some better stuff and it's tasty. They also have the Conecuh Ridge stuff that we're going to drink down in Orange Beach um, that I have not had yet. So, I mean, they have better stuff. This would be like ragging on, you know, everybody at Jim Beam because they're fucking black angel share shit suck. Like, no, they have better stuff. You know? Okay. Is this the same as what we have I over here? Can you... like? Tell me in words why you had to make a cocktail. Like, because I don't like rye. So what? So I, I, the only way I'm going to drink a rye is in a cocktail. So what? <laughs> We're hearing noises. Oh, by the way, we had some movers in the house today. Um, oh, they were ballers. They're supposed to be on here. Yeah, the, are, the, are the movers on are here? Are the movers on here? If they so, said, I will be on there and I will comment. Yes, they My said that. My guy from Virginia but Tech. Yes. We, uh, quick uh, scheduling update. My mom passed away, unfortunately, on Saturday, uh, which has been what, four or five days now. Yep. And uh, we've been kind of getting things tied up and put together and um, or, or whatever, just trying to get her Handling stuff. Handling things. Handling things. Mm -hmm. uh, and moved her stuff. From the nursing, uh, the, the assisted, uh, living. assisted living back here today. Yes. And we enlisted the help of some great guys from Two Men in a Truck. It was actually Three Men in a Truck. <laughs> they were Three Men in a Truck. Today, and yes. uh, yeah, they were great. They today. were very nice, very efficient, handled everything very professionally. And when I was like, just throw it in the truck. And they're like, no, 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 we don't do that. <laughs> but I did tell them the story about how my mom sat on the couch and said she had spent the night last night talking to the little girls with the red the veins, veins on their arms. arms. And that yes. guy was like, huh? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who are those people? I was like, uh, yeah. we're not yeah. sure, and we really don't want to find out, so yeah. let's leave. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yes, they were very professional, and the guy came upstairs where we have the studio, and he goes, Yo, and he came downstairs and goes, y'all do a YouTube show? <laughs> Hell yeah, we do. <laughs> like, yes, we do. Uh, let's see, Cassidy P is in the house. Hey. Uh, we love Cassidy P, uh, one of the Baller. 
legends behind our outstanding yes. event, event in uh, or, yeah. Paces I mean, or Atlanta. Yeah, or Paces. <laughs> uh, Don Proper Dickin coming in from uh, Maastricht Holland. Aww. So sorry to have heard Jay. Thank, Thank you, Don. You. And uh, Otag nice. as well. Thank you. So guys. sorry, brother. Uh, Runner 24 as well. Thank you, brother. And uh, Tim the Toolman as well. Aww. Shit. Sorry. Uh, to we're hear not that, trying Jay. to bring it down. Yeah, yeah. We're not, we're not bringing it down. And, and again, we're. We're broadcasting live from her from, home, from Carol's house, yes. and uh, the upstairs part. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hope yeah. to keep doing that. Yes, yeah. we hope so to we'll keep see. doing that. So, yep, we will drink the one to Carol later. Yes, we will. And we'll show a picture of Carol so you guys can see Mama Tate. Finally, she would be like, "Don't ever put my picture on your videos, Jay." And so now I can. <laughs> now you know, you can. What's she gonna do? <laughs> what's she gonna do about it? Mike B <laughs> says he is sipping on the five year, five year and he loves it. It says on the bottle distilled in Indiana and bottled in Indiana. Conecuh mm. Ridge Distillery is on the label. 102 proof thumbs okay. up. It changes. Uh, yeah. I think you have one that's slightly older than mine might be. Um, ours, I haven't checked the actual bottle, but they, they were saying it was bottled in, in Cocoa, Florida. Is where it was. Anyway, um, oh, this is better. Mike, I'm glad you're drinking along, bro, because we're about to hit uh, that one. A U two fifty six also jumped in. Uh, thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Nice. Uh, okay, do you want to try the next one, or are you just gonna? Mm hmm. Also, Matt Acasa DP says, "Much love for Mama Tate. We're all fam. It's not bringing the mood down. Oh, uh, my mom you. would be upset. She did not understand what the hell all this was. No, she didn't understand any of that. But that's okay. Most people that age are not, you know. She's like, so you're talking to people like on the phone. I was like, yeah, kind of, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty Beast is dang brother. Blend on, y'all. She would definitely want us to continue blending right here, by the yep, way. So, right uh, here. She was really fine. I just showed her pictures of our studio here, and she was like, oh, that's really neat. She has no idea what we're doing, but she right. still thought it was really cool because there was nothing up here before. Nope. She bought this huge house for one person, and yeah. it was like, what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> uh, so Corey, now we're making it the Carol Tate Studios. I missed over uh, <laughs> Toto. Jumping hey. in early. said, excited to see you guys and hang out this weekend. <laughs> Going to be yeah. an orange beach. And the famous words of C Dub. Let's go. <laughs> he has big muscles, though. I yeah, don't. he does. What? He does have big muscles. It's a fact. Well, he jumped in quick on that. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, let's see. Don Proper Dickens says, I tried to get my first bourbon. It's Clyde Mays in hindsight. I ain't sure this is even bourbon. <laughs> Having a pour now, actually. Yeah, okay. a lot of these are just whiskeys, like the ones we've yeah. had so far. Hey, can we I get on the next one? Oh, gonna... I, already, I already broke it open. I've had a sip. Oh, well, let's there get to our go. graphic. I mean, I spent <laughs> six minutes on the graphic now. God dang it. It's very expensive. Uh, this is what we're having right now. This is the straight bourbon. Uh, this this one right here is distilled in the bottle in Florida, but I don't know that. I, I think it can it can vary, I guess, a little bit. This is absolutely MGP stuff uh, from just outside of Cincinnati. Retail price on this is 40-ish, 92 proof, which is still low, but not quite as low as what it was before. Aged between four and five years, previously distilled in Kentucky. And they're big on non-chill filtered. I had to okay. read up on this a little bit because that's getting into science. I don't really know what that means. So can you share a little when bit? When it's non-chill filtered, it has the tendency to be, it can be murky. Okay. Because there's certain impurities mm -hmm. that get taken out when you chill filter it. Okay. That they're leaving in there. Okay. They feel like it makes it more authentic. Okay. They are not the only people to do this. Some people chill to still. Some people okay. chill a filter and some don't. Interesting. They do not. So if you ever see some murkiness in the glass, it's not because it's a, a problem. Very interesting, mm -hmm. Mr. Tay. Thank you for educating us. My dad would love to tell us that story and explain why this is important, but uh, <laughs> but he's well, in uh, fucking we'll Maine. Skip we'll skip that one. My dad lives in Maine. Anyway. Okay, so uh, this one tastes a lot better than the other one. I don't taste the apple as much. No, there's no apple. In this. Oh. I, don't, I don't taste apple. I smell it, but I don't taste it. Cassidy P says, he's a fan of non-chill filter. Give me that, all that oily goodness. Again, some people think those are impurities. I do not. I think that's just part of the experience. This is pretty good. Yeah, I don't know why. It's, it's, uh, it's why got it a little so... spice to it, but it's not hot. I mean, I'm going to be that honest with you. Sense. I don't love it, but it's not awful. No, it's not awful. I actually like the first one better than that one. Really? Mm. Mm, mm -mm. If you could just make the first one a little stronger, mm -mm. I'd be fine with it. Mm -mm. No, this is fan. still fine for me. I would give the first one a 5 out of 10. I'd give this one a 3 out of 10. But it's That's fine. That's interesting because I would switch those numbers. Different ballots. Do you think it's because you're a girl? No, I think it's because I have better taste buds than yours. I think that's why. 
I have the best taste buds. Yeah, well, you. Because I picked you. Uh, look, Cassidy <laughs> P with a distillery joke. He says, I am anti flocculation. Oh. That is, that's the actual term for uh, nerd. Chill, that's like chill bourbon filter. nerdum right there. <laughs> well, he's, he would certainly fit that. Uh, he knows a lot about bourbon, we'll say yes. that. And also, his wife, whose name we're going to redact from the show, mm -hmm. she's cool too. I think she you is. described her as a baller, which in Courtney parlance is mm -hmm. like high ass mm -hmm. fucking uh, esteem. She is baller. Yes. Enjoyed hanging out with her. Okay, so you'll find these bottles, the first two we've had at every ABC you can find. I don't know about outside of the state. I don't, it's not one that I'm ever looking for, but I would assume it's pretty easy to find in Florida, Georgia, uh, probably Tennessee as well, but certainly in Alabama. Everywhere. I doubt that they are selling it in Kentucky. They probably sell it there. Why? <laughs> they may not, may not <laughs> actually sell many of them, but they're for sale. Um, okay, let's cut to the chase. You want to get on with some of the decent shit let's here? Let's get on with the better. better All right, taste. we're going to switch over to the Special Reserve. This is a $55 bottle. We paid this. We paid that today. That's the red one, Courtney, if you want to. I see it. We're just talking right now. Oh, we're just talking right now. Mm -hmm. uh, this is definitely distilled in Indiana, so this is more MGP. Uh, retail was 55 today at the ABC and East Chase. 110 proof, so we're going to take another step up in terms of potency, as the kids say. Six years old. Uh, Mike B. has a similar version of this that's five. I think it kind of fluctuates, maybe. I, there's a black label one that's five, and then this red label is six. And I, I think it just kind of bounces this in and out. This reminds me of the um, Boone County. Boone County. Bobby. Oh, the bottle. Mm -hmm. uh, this is six years old, as we mentioned, MGP juice, and this is aged in char four barrels. So the, this is essentially the heaviest char. And I put alligator on there because it gives you an idea of how long. I think it's in there for 50-something seconds when they're, when they're burning the barrels. And it gives you that char. It looks like an alligator's back. So it's mm. kind of it actually starts popping up. So my thought... <clears throat> the thought on that is it's going to give you a little bit more flavor of whatever those... It says unique finish barrels. is what it says on the side. Oh, I don't know how I unique. feel about that. Speaking of unique, call me Biscuits in the house. Uh-oh. We mentioned you earlier. I bet your ears are burning, Biscuit. <laughs> uh, about the event that we had last Thursday, call me Biscuit was uh, an absolute legend after the yes. after the, the meal. Yes. Uh, tasted a lot of bourbons. Mm -hmm. Shared a lot of bourbons with folks there and uh, generally just kicked ass, right? Uh-huh. He sure was. He, he, he sure, had a good time. He sure did would be the word. Though. No, he sure was kicking ass. Uh, O-Tag says he saw some in a store in Bardstown of all places. Ooh, why? Hey, man, they're fighting to try to get, you know, I, I respect it. Yeah, they're like, y'all see this stuff all the time. Let us show you something special. <laughs> and Don says his says Alabama-style whiskey, LOL. That's oh, the yeah. first one we tried tonight, Don. Tastes like apples. I think it tastes like apples. I'm and, not a big uh, fan. It was okay, though. Don, I gave it a 5 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I could drink that on a hot day. I'm sitting out on the fan. back porch with Cuz talking about no. whatever the fuck no, we'd be talking I would not about. Never intentionally. Yankees drink that. kicking ass or whatever. I would drink that okay, if it was the last thing yet. in the. I would drink that if it was the last thing in the cabinet. The last thing? Mm hmm. Literally? I don't enjoy it. I'll give you some Noah's Mill or that uh, Rounds Creek. That's true. Those are really bad too. Okay, see, I like that. It's I not, told you. It's not oh, amazing, no, but it's this. good. It's good. This tastes like bourbon. This is very sweet. Wow, this is really sweet. Light sweet. Yeah. Light sweet. This is actually tastes like a Jolly Rancher. I don't know. I'm going to go with a Jolly Rancher. I would go with more of um. Oh. Hmm. What am I looking for? Uh, Cuz is reminding everyone to hit that like button. We only have 13,000 yeah. likes. Yeah. 13,000. Come and, on, uh, guys. That's all today. Pull it together. Yeah, guys. Come on. <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> Uh, this, this is definitely a step up from what we've had. Oh, yeah. Definitely. This, this is, is actually... This is, this is good. I like this. I can definitely tell a proof difference. Um, oh, yeah. I can also... It's it's thicker. Um, Biscuit is going to Keeneland tomorrow. He, you should be very glad you weren't there oh, today because it was pouring ass fucking rain. But I, I bet you it's going to be better tomorrow. Keeneland's nice. Uh, I'm not a fan. But Keeneland is nice, Jay. It is very nice. It is very it's like nice. saying a Rolls Royce is nice. I don't have any interest in driving it, but it is nice. We just like Would you, traditional. Do you have any gray poupon? <laughs> but of course. There's a lot of chazzes and what would be a similar girl, a name for a girl? Muffy. A lot of muffies and chazzes there. <laughs> Muffy with the muff. Muffy's muff. We had a <laughs> Muffy's muff. Muffy. 
No, I don't need to know about Muffet. You used to play field hockey with a girl named Muffet. I did, Muffet. And we like to, like to call her Muffy. Mm-hmm. Mm. I feel like I'm going to get drunk tonight. I didn't mean to. I feel like these pours have been heavy as fuck. That's what it's about. Okay, so I like this one. Yeah, this is... This, this is pretty good. I mean, I this is the best Clyde Mays I've had. Let's put it that way. Yeah, we haven't gotten to the, good, the really good one yet. I, but this is good. I was concerned about the alligator char. Why? Because I thought it would be darker. I thought it would be darker with that. I was but thinking that alligator char would have would have I don't know, darkened it a little bit more, but it didn't. It's good. It's it has a it has a good linger. It's uh it's it's staying with me. It's interesting you said. And I once again, right. Jay will love this comment. It's staying with me in the back of my throat. The bourbon is staying with me in the back of my throat. You and your double entendres, Courtney. I don't know. Uh, uh, Cassidy pieces Muffet like Little Miss. Who would do that to a child? Muffet was from Kansas City, I believe. She was. And she was definitely somebody, Cassidy P, that you would not fuck with if you weren't just messing around. Because she, she was as tough as you. She was kind of a little shorter and smaller than you were. Yeah. She played midfield. She was a link. But mm -hmm. she, uh, she was a talker now. She was a talker. She was the kind of a go, come on, ladies, let's go. Uh, yes. I like Muffet. Muffet Harmon was her name. Very nice. Mm -hmm. As long as you were on the same team with her. <laughs> she was a tri-delt, which I kind of held against her at the time. True. I probably shouldn't have. I was so pro Kyo back in those days. You know? I mean, best is the best. And I, I also felt like, you know, everybody, uh, soccer fans oh. always have their team, and then they have like a, 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 a little team that they like. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was fine you for me. So I like, you I was like a Kyle Kyle guy, too. but I kind of, I like the fine muse too. Mm -hmm. They were nice girls, especially Amber. Oh, here we go. Did you like Amber Smith? Mm -hmm. She's a nice girl. What's everyone sipping on tonight? <laughs> Why do you care? Some rare breed for me. Oh, AU256 yes. is drinking that rare breed, which. That stuff is good. This came up sometime recently for us. Uh, oh, I know what it was. I don't want to name names, but at the. They had an event in Pike Road last weekend yeah. called Bourbon in Your Butt or whatever. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's not what it was called. Uh, whiskey A Go-Go. Whiskey A Go-Go in Pike Road. It was a fundraiser and for their school. Some folks that we know who are not big bourbon drinkers mm -hmm. got a hold of the rare breed and said it was too fucking hot. Which really to me is a dog whistle right there. You know you're talking to a rookie, right? Because come on, rare breed is but like that's cash okay. money. But that's okay. That's fine. It Rare is. breed is cash fucking money. I understand that, and I agree with you on Damn. said things. But we are talking about a event or an event in well outside of Montgomery, Alabama, about bourbon and whiskey. Cassidy B says Muffet had some spunk, huh? Might be due to a boy named Sue sort of existence. Spunk. Where I come from, spunk means something different maybe than well, what Cassidy P. Well, Little Miss Muffet was really scared by the spider, though. Yeah, we don't know how the she spiders, felt about spiders. The spider sat down beside her. We ought to tell field hockey stories some night. Because I just thought about Paula Andrews, that time that she got her fucking thumb cut off. like Not her uh, whole not thumb, but like off. the skin got ripped off. Yeah, it was delicious. And we she fucking played this. through it. That's fucking baller. Yeah, man. that was pretty amazing. We were waiting for our Olympic team nominations. <laughs> That was a Berea College, by the way. I can't say with a straight face. That was a Berea College. You beat their ass. Of course, that was a, that was a school with free tuition. Uh, Cuz agrees with me on Rare Breed. That is definitely a dog whistle. If you find somebody that says, I don't know about Rare Breed, be like, you, you don't have to say it out loud. I've learned in my life, I don't need to say everything out loud. But in your head, you're like, does not know what the fuck he's talking mm -hmm. about. Because that stuff's just like really good. Yeah. Uh, and also, <laughs> Cassidy P. is aware of what spunk means, but not that sort of spunk. <laughs> not that sort. He meant like a, a fire, a spark, mm -hmm. energetic, esprit de corps. I got you. Uh, Clyde Ray Special Reserve, for me, Alabama got, Alabama style got five, the straight bourbon got three, and this, this gets a... This is definitely much better than any of that. I'll give this a six and a half. But Courtney. isn't this just 20 more dollars than the other one? Yeah. I would definitely Maybe invest 15. the extra 20 dollars. How many charcoal briquettes are you getting at? How many on, on a scale of 10 were you doing? I'd give it 
three and a half. It's pretty three good. and a half. It's pretty I gave good. it six and a half. You said, uh, Jay, what's the scale? Ten. You change the scale all the time. It was five before. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Jay's like, I'm going to give it a six out of five. <laughs> 3.25 charcoal briquettes. Okay, I said three and a half. Are you getting hot in here? I'm going to turn the air on. Oh, well, I'm going to do that. It's getting hot. It's getting here. hot. And so I can still talk when I'm way over here doing the, uh, doing the AC. I can still talk. No, I really, I like this. I think it's good. It's much better than I was predicting from Alabama bourbon. <sighs> Thank you, Cassidy P. Muffet displayed a joie de vie. Exactly. That guy knows oh. French right there. That's what I'm talking about. And not that kind of French. All right, so 3.25 charcoal briquettes is what I'm giving that bad boy. Okay. Now we're moving on to, are you ready? I'm ready. The cask strength, this stuff is, hmm. So I put 22 up there. They change, it's 2,600, 2,600 bottles a year based on each year I think is a little bit different. So I think Cuz's was from 22. It could have been 21. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, we borrowed this from Cuz and Becky. This is their bottle. And they got this at the uh, ABC allocation. I think it was two years ago. Cuz is welcome, of course, to jump in the chat and correct me if I'm wrong on that one. This is going to be 112 proof. So this is a little bit, hot, just a little bit hotter than the red. 13 years old. MGP juice. And again, as I mentioned, a limited run of $2,600. 2,600 bottles per year. Uh -huh. Retail price is $199 on this bad boy, so that it ain't cheap. But 13 years old. Mm -hmm. So this should be some of MGP's best stuff. Corey, I'm going to get to you. He says, in your spare time, can you tell us who will play point guard for Auburn University? Yes, I think I that's going to be a great discussion point for this weekend. I will do that, actually. Cassidy P thinks 199 is steep. Yes. It is a little steep. This is Ooh. not something you're going to see in... It definitely lingers on the tongue. This isn't going to be an ABC just on a regular Tuesday. This is a it's, allocation. Um, it's definitely sure. a little oily. Which oily. Is Big oily bonk. bonk. Big oily. Aha. There you know. Another reference. Yes. Uh, it's got some legs, Cassidy P. It's certainly got some legs. I'm not saying that it's Natalie Portman, but it's, it's got some legs. And it's not a Lindsay Horan. It's good. I'm not going to say that it is worth that much more than the previous one, though. May I see the bottle? Yes, you may. I want to compare the darkness. Oh, me too. I feel like Father Troncali. <laughs> he only has one thing at a time. If I did that, would I be would I be in trouble with the, yeah, would that be confusing? You don't have, you yes. don't have wine. Or well, if you guys, you guys are not, nobody's Catholic except us in the state of Alabama. So <laughs> they say, Thank you. they say the body of Christ in here. Well, they're holding the actual. I'm holding bourbon. That's why it's, it's obviously like. All oh, these people have communion at their church. It's just a little different than the way that we do it. It does look a little darker on the 13. It should. And it I does. I know, but mm. I don't taste, um. $150 better. Because I'm going to tank this bad boy, bro. I'm just kidding. I don't taste, like I said, I don't taste $150 better. I want to hear what you have to say about this, Courtney. What? Corey says, no, $199 isn't steep when you live in Hampstead. Corey. Uh-oh, here it comes. Corey, you did this to yourself, bro. You brought this on yourself, and we'll talk this weekend. Wow. I've heard you say it to me before when you're like, Jay, we'll talk about it during the weekend. That means you don't want to talk about it while you're at work. That means that, that means it will be a longer Corey, discussion. There's an ass whooping coming, bro. <laughs> he would like that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Chris, uh, a.k.a. Cuz, says we were kind of hoodwinked into purchasing. <laughs> Clyde May's grandson, a.k.a. LC, was giving us the heart. Oh, I can see so. that. I mean, you're seeing it in there, and there's probably like, 15 bottles left <laughs> and you're like all right i'll try it cassidy pieces Ooh, natalie portman as a bourbon what a thought experiment wow hmm natalie portman i don't know about natalie portman because she's really tiny and i don't know that tiny and bourbon I don't know, go I don't together tiny is the right word she I'm is just, tiny i would say she's narrow she is 
tiny. She she's is not super very short. petite. She's not super short, though. She is short. Okay. She is short. And another thing I like about her is that she's part owner of Angel City FC, uh, the Los Angeles yes. team in the NWSL. I'm a huge fan, of course. And Corey says, I love you, Corey. Aw, Corey. Love you, too. That doesn't get you out of it. It's just like I used to tell Maddie when she'd be in trouble. <laughs> I love you too, but we'll talk. <laughs> Otag says, former <laughs> Alabama Catholic here. Y'all might be the only ones left since I moved. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of There's us. not many of us. <laughs> well, uh, I would not say that we are very active Catholics. We are, I will say that. We've had some. We've yeah. had some derailment <laughs> and said. <laughs> Minor Sunday, derailment. <laughs> Sunday uh, um, visiting. <laughs> Kanuman says, can that convo be live streamed, obviously, between you and Corey? <laughs> Uh, we will see how uh, that goes. Uh, Cassie DP jumps in to say, I'd say my Natalie Portman bourbon is probably a high proof old Forester single barrel. Wow, you have, was it you had my attention, now you have my curiosity. Mm. Mm. You know that, you know it's a. Uh, mm -mm, no, but I'm just trying to figure out what. It's from Django and Chain. See, I would say Natalie Portman would be a. I don't know. Now that she's doing um, ads for perfume, I, I'm curious. I always, lose, I always lose a little bit of respect for really great actresses that do whoa, perfume ads. Whoa. What? Nobody said she was a great actress. She's a great actress. She's just hot. She's a great actress. Can you tell me right now, without me giving you any tints, my three celebrity crushes? Because it's not Natalie Portman. I bet Courtney. Well, can do I know it. number one is uh, Jenna Fisher. We'll take that. Um, you like Mariska? I don't know if she's on we will, there. We will take Hart that. Day. We will absolutely take um, that. That's the top two right there. I'm not sure who three is. We'll just take a shot at it. I, I don't know. Were you going to say Alex Morgan? No, I wasn't going to say Alex Morgan. Were you going to say Mia Hamm? No, she looks like a man. I've we've talked about this before, right? She looks like a man. I know that, but what I'm saying is she looks like a man. Okay. Anyway, that's not very nice of me to say. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not nice to say. Wardam Steve. Oh, we is, are on the air. <laughs> We're not just having a normal conversation. Uh, Wardam Steve is back with us. <laughs> hey, Steve, glad to have you back, bro. Uh, it says only Clyde Mays I bought was at the 2019 lottery. I think that's the I think that's the one I won too. Came in a wood box and was one of the most expensive bottles I got. Still in the wood case, <laughs> hoping value increases. <laughs> Well, he's I, I love the optimism, bro. Yes. He's hoping that value increases. I <laughs> don't know. What what could that be? Like, what is it, Steve? The like, only thing I can say is what I... What is it actually? I guarantee that Clyde Mays is going to blow up once they open up this place outside of Troy because everybody travels down 231 to go to 30A or Destin, that direction. And there are going to be all these folks that are going to stop by a distillery on their way there. And I think it's going to actually be a great thing for them. Don't be too proud of this technology. Now, does that still change how I feel about their bourbon? No, not really, but... I, now. I appreciate you with the take here to try to help Steve, to buoy Steve's emotional investment in this bottle of bourbon. I want to know what the hell he's got. What is it? What, what is it? I want to know what it is. Here it is. Instead of Charlotte's Web, it's Courtney's Web. Yes. Charlotte's Web Some made me like cry. To be tangled in I, it. I, I cried watching Charlotte's Web the first time. It was like a it was like a a cartoon. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God! It, it tore me up. Why? Man. It was just sad, man. Not that sad. They uh, were talking animals. Remember that's been uh, banned for talking animals. And oh, uh, that's right. And <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We're gonna ban Charlotte's Web. It might make somebody sad. A Warren M. Steve says, "Think that and the Elijah Craig 18 were the most expensive bottles he got. What was it? Colleen in the house. Uh, be nice. Says Courtney. Be nice. Be nice about what? Why? I, I love that uh, Colleen <laughs> is gonna jump in. Colleen's like, gonna tell me to be, ni out. be nice. Be nice. Why? <laughs> I was thinking about calling this week because uh, and I were talking about how we give zero fucks much anymore. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys the truth. Like, I feel like my life has changed. I'm serious. I, why, why can't I talk about it? Why can't I talk about it? I mean, we're drinking bourbon. Let, let's drink a little more. I was talking about positivity. Okay. It was a positive thing. Okay, it's positive. I'm not. My mom passing away makes me think that I'm gonna give less of a shit about 
lots of stuff now. Um, not you. I feel more tight to you, but like other stuff. I'm not going to worry about what people think anymore. Seeing my mom's trajectory, I'm just doing it over well, and over again. Like you're you're also early into the grieving process. I am so. early into the grieving process, and that right. does take a while, depending Uh-oh. on each person. J B. That's not real. That's Kentu- not real. No, it is real. That he's is the, not real. He's the coach of BYU. That's not real. Kentucky is set to hire Mark Pope. Mark Pope, a former Kentucky Wildcat. That reports. JB, I JB need JB or not. He's a fucking former reporter. I know. I need the source. Who's the source? Who's the source, JB? Reports. Hey, Come JB. On, you know better than that. You know somebody. Who you know it? something, Who don't you? Who is it, JB? Me and JB were at a uh, hotel in Chattanooga, Tennessee in 1998, I believe it was. And there was a shooting slash murder at the top of the hotel. And me and JB... <laughs> Just for shits and gigs, we're like working the fucking staff to try to get scoop on what I would happened. have loved to have been the fly on the wall for that. No, no, no. And, and here's the great <laughs> thing about it was that I was leading the... Uh, JB is really good at this, but me and JB were working together, and I was kind of running lead on this. So well, he, you both can be really full of shit. He couldn't believe. He was like, oh, my God. You just walked up to him and said, you know something, don't you? Like, yeah, I do. A clipboard and a confident smile. Uh, cuz says ESPN reporting discussions. I like Mark Pope. Uh, I have interviewed Mark Pope. I know Mark Pope. Like really? So Ward M. Steve has gotten back to us. This is the, uh, this is the Clyde maze. He got at the allocation in the wooden box. Cask strength limited release. Ta 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 10 year. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So KSR is saying. Well, so they're, they're on the on three network now. However, uh, the leader of the KSR is that guy that went to fucking Trancy. I forgot his name. Matt Jones. Matt Jones. Who, h- hilariously, I went on his show one time. This is a true story. I went on Matt Jones' show one time, and uh, it was when Auburn was playing at Kentucky, and I did a spot on there or whatever, and then when I hung up, he goes, Jesus, that guy sounds like he's at his grandfather's funeral. I was, I at, was my, at my grandfather's I was at my show. grandfather's funeral when I did the spot. So he was right. Uh, he was correct. He really ought to have a fellow Chansey graduate on his show more mm-hmm. often, but that's just my opinion. JB says, I've interviewed Mark Pope. <laughs> I have as well. <laughs> of course, JB and I were uh, I'm sure Mark Pope remembers every moment of both of you interviewing him. AU256 says, UK board is in meltdown mode right now. LOL. It's probably going to break the fucking Rivals Network again. <laughs> again. <laughs> Second time today. That will not happen. It? And a Corey W says Matt Jones needs therapy. Matt Jones does a lot of like free associating on Twitter, which I kind of respect. We just but you I just do don't. free association on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I don't do it on Twitter. I don't. I don't do it on Twitter. <laughs> Tim the uh, Toolman Taylor says L- LMAO. Wait, what? <laughs> I know, right? Bro, I don't know, man. Like Mark Pope is beloved, I think, in Lexington. He's a he was a center. He's yeah, a, and he did great at Utah. <laughs> Hold on. He did great at Utah Valley. He also did great at BYU. Utah Valley? He did pretty well at BYU. He didn't do great. How can you go from that? Oh, the only the only reason is because they want a former player. That has got to No, be it's because a lot of people have turned him down. We, we know that the guy at UConn turned him down. We know the guy at Baylor turned him down. Isn't that crazy? And I don't know that Bruce Pearl really fits what they're trying to do. They don't want Bruce Pearl. They should because he's a fucking badass. They don't but, want Bruce Pearl. But he's a little older and... I don't want Bruce Pearl. Yeah, Kanuman says, wow, that is below par. I hey. would not have anticipated that. And a JB just gives it a wow. Wow, guys. Here we are. We're live. We were talking about Colleen, and then all of a sudden, Mark Pope came up. All of a sudden, JB breaking it down on the breaking, bourbon blend. B- 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 breaking news. People are like, wow, there's breaking Holy news. Holy hell, what the <laughs> heck is that? <laughs> uh, I'm already feeling it, Courtney. Um, of course you surprise. are. Surprise, we're not even an hour into our show. We still have a, a haul video to do, and your boys. Mm. You getting lit? Drink, hydrate. Dude, one of the... Hydrate. F- oh, yeah. I was I was pre-hydrating, though. Pre-hydrating. Mm. Wow. It tasted good. Um, may I have a little bit more of the 13, cuz, Courtney? Of course. Becky? Et cetera, et cetera. I'm sure that they're fine with that. They let us. Sh- they share. They're nice friends, and they share their toys and beverages. Cash DB says Pope feels like a cover to avoid attention. That is, unless he brings Richie Farmer, Jamel Martinez, <laughs> or Monster Mash. Oh, Monster Mash's son is in the man. portal, by the way. 
Hey, uh, Jay, why don't you Virginia. tell them about who you got your picture taken with Toss back in the day? I have a picture. A yes, Polaroid. a Polaroid photo. With Todd's We Fubota. paid money for. You're goddamn right we did. <laughs> We went Fubota. to like, well, what was that store like, called? It was a Kmart. It was a little. It was a Kmart. Was a Kmart. That's Kmart. right. It was Kmart. It was like they're like on the radio. They were Todd's like, Fubota. <laughs> That's exactly UK what happened. legend. <laughs> That's exactly what happened at the Kmart. Come and see him. Uh huh. And I actually went. <laughs> we got, we got to, we'll have to find that picture. We'll it's have to it's find me picture. at like two hundred eighty-five pounds. That's true. I'm wearing a Beauty and the Beast shirt. <laughs> I swear to God, that's true. <laughs> and I'm like. Like, I swear that's true. <laughs> it is true. I love Jamel Martinez, number ah. 44, uh, from Miami, I believe. Boy, he was a lanky dude. And I think Richie Farmer's in the pokey now, but that happens sometimes. Well, didn't he have, wasn't he, wait, what was he? He was over the gas, the gas shit. What was it? <laughs> he was the ag commissioner. Ag commissioner, that's right. I don't know if he got busted over gas, though. I don't know what it was. I'm sure. It but in true was. Kentucky form, they, he had to go to jail, but they let him stay out and he didn't have to report until after his son played in the fucking basketball tournament. That's perfect. Where else in the world? Uh, Cuz wants to know how many charcoal briquettes for the 13 here. Um, I, I think it's good, but the price point reduces my charcoal briquetteness. <laughs> <laughs> Cut, you know what? The, here's the thing about Cuz. So Cuz has a great collection of bourbon. Mm -hmm. He's got 750 bourbons better than this one. This one's good. So it, 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 I like the story that goes along with it. What, what, what's the story? He basically was helping um, support the the homeless man at the <laughs> the homeless grandson of Clyde Mays at the <laughs> allocation and bought it. Oh. I mean, yeah, Farmer was the AG, AG commissioner. Uh, Goose Flat wants to know: Did y'all pick up any good bourbons in the state allocation? We did not participate. I did not participate. We I, slept. And we tried to get in. Oh, you saw, are you talking about the annual or the... Oh, the, well, the one that just happened. We were we were busy snoozing. Yeah, we'll um, Colin Biscuit wants to know, does it sound scratchy? Oh. Am I scratchy? Is it me? I don't... I think we're, I think we're still good. I, I haven't okay. heard anything about it. Uh, let's see. Uh, JB says, I won't believe the reports about Pope until I see white smoke... <laughs> He's a fellow Catholic right there. <laughs> That's uh, JB and Chris it with uh, straight hair. What is going on there? That's her shorter hair there. Oh, is that That's from like is. Shelton? I don't know what it is, but yeah. Let me some uh, Crystal. Mm -hmm. Crystal, uh, well, I know her as a different name, but I've known her like, God, how long has it been now? I met Crystal in 1996. How long is that? Is it almost, in a minute. Is it 40 mm -hmm. or is it 30? Wow, Scotty B in Tennessee says, Richie Farmer? Gracious, I haven't heard that weasel's name in exactly, 20 years. Exactly, weasel. <laughs> weasel. Oh, I love that term. I haven't heard weasel I in a long time. I used the word weasel earlier today. You want to know who I mentioned as a weasel? Mm. Neil McCrady. 100%. Weasel. But we're it's not going there. Weasel. We're not. We're done. I hope, I hope somebody fucking right tells along. you about it. No, I'm just telling you, man. Uh, what is it me or is it just Jay? <laughs> I need to know if the scratchy is me or Jay. Uh, what M. Steve says that anyone had Penelope Architect. Guess what? Be right back. BRB. <laughs> Jay's going to the beach to go get in his in his uh, beach shirt. He's gonna ride a wave back in here. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. I'm so glad you did that. I have it. Thank you. Wait, hold on. Wait, Chris says yes, scratchy? I know. I'm sad to hear this. It doesn't look scratchy. Well, it doesn't matter if it looks scratchy. It's what it sounds like to them. Okay. Is it just? Is it both of us or is it just me? It could be me and my shirt. Oh, well, it could be? Yes. Okay. I mean, I can work on some stuff and try to get it worked out. Well, anyway, so um, charcoal briquettes on this one. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with the equivalent of the other. I said three and a half on the other, and I'm going to go with three and a half on this too. Damn, okay. Yeah. 
it's it's good. I like both of them. They're both good, but for the price point, I'd definitely go with the other one. I uh, changed some of the uh, some of the volume settings there, guys. So hopefully that'll maybe that'll pick it out. Thank you for letting us know because we Archie's obviously in the house. don't know. Archie here. Archie. Archie. So is volume a little high and scratchy at times? Well, just turn the volume down and Jay is scratchy at times. Okay, hopefully that, I think that would have gotten I think it's because he's doing the, he loves to switch out mics for some reason. I don't get it, but he did it. And that's what I'm saying. The problem Colin Biscuit, I, I, think I, I think I switched it, bro. I think we're going to be good now. Uh, also, are you tax man? Tax Baller. man. Hey, yo. Baller. We love you, tax man. He's not going to be in Orange Beach this weekend, but we still love him. The guy's an absolute legend right there. Uh, what? Hold on. Wait. Wade Taylor just hit the portal, JG. Do we have a shot? Wade Taylor? I don't know who that is. I think Auburn Owls always has a shot right there. And Knuman says he is way worse than a weasel. Oh, administrative assistant can say whatever she wants, and I 100% agree. And Cassidy P, all on his own, says Neil is a weasel. Okay. Um, so I agree. Because nothing is faker than when you reach out to somebody when everybody is reaching out to somebody. Archie says it sounds better. Thank you, Archie. And also call me Biscuit and Cuz for Yay! letting me know. Yay! Good job, Jay. Sorry, guys. We got to get those interns working better yeah, on that. Yeah, <laughs> for real, for real, for <laughs> real, for real. Um, so this 13 is good. We're going to go back to the bourbon. Are we going to talk about Neil? No, we're not because we're going to have some more um, architect here in a minute. But 13 um, is good overall. Do you know what people would really like to hear on this? So when I drive to Auburn and back, what what is this? When I drive to Auburn and back, it's about 52 minutes from my house to Auburn. And I talk to myself the whole time, most of the time. I'm either singing or I'm talking to myself. I bet you guys would love to hear the conversations I have with myself, believe me, because I talk about Neil a bunch. Um. It's not worth 52 minutes for I'm you to talk about, about that. It. I'm it's fucking bitter about it. I'm fucking bitter about it. It's no reason for you to be bitter about it. I'm fucking bitter about it. You just move on AU and Taxman know that there's says, some douches in the world. No, he's... I, I, AU Taxman says, I've got some seagrass tonight. That's some. He's talking about some barrel, oh, yeah. barrel spirits from uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville. And we love the seagrass. That is... Uh, I love seagrass. That is a type of a barrel. Do we have any seagrass here? Mm -hmm. Hey, look... Pretend like this bottle didn't suck balls <laughs> and it was actually seagrass. That's what it would look pretend. like. We're going to pretend. <laughs> it would be blue and yellow. But instead, I got this shit. Why did I even let this guy talk me into this bourbon? This sucks. Well, I And mean, I've got this much left. It might be a mixer at $140. Anyway, um, so you need to finish what's in your glass so we can pour some of this Penelope. <clears throat> Oh, we also have a, we have, so we have some more <coughs> We haven't pictures. even gotten to our secret. We need to go to pictures. We need to go to the video. Courtney, we have, have some any... other work to get done tonight. We yeah. have agenda. <coughs> we haven't even gotten the secret the secret bourbon yet. Jay, I know. So you All right, what do you want to do? Do your video. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Let me finish this. So when we went to our... Um, Bergen, bourbon and burgers event in Atlanta. Indeed. I was we there. also, before we left town, we had to hit <sighs> Tower Liquors. Tower Liquors in, uh, sure, that's Atlanta, right? Well, of course it's Atlanta. And uh, we had to go visit them. And so we're going to show you some of the goodies that we uh, had our visual eyeballs on while we were there. <laughs> Not our olfactory eyeballs. No, just our visual eyeballs. Okay. While um, you guys know I like to break this out as a we do a separate haul yes. video, so it's going to be a little bit of like a video inside of a video. So we're going to do the haul video. Very fancy. I'm not going to be able to do the chats while we're doing it. It's okay. We're going to be fine. Let's move on. Um, by the happen. way, AU Taxman says since I'm late to the party, does Clyde Mays still put apple peels in their whiskey? Okay. Sweet? This first thing, yes. It yes, was butthole. They do. I don't necessarily um, do the stuff that Cuz had. No, the first thing that we it had, the that. Alabama whiskey. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Well, I think they're pretty open about that. Why don't you just go get the Crown Royal apple or whatever it is? Because it was $299 well, when we found it. Okay. All right, we're going to do it? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do our haul video. I'll be back on the chat when we get it going, all right? There we go. Y'all ready? All right, we're going to do another haul video, this time from Tower Beer, Wine, and Spirits in Atlanta, GA. 
Courtney. Uh, just kind of speak up whenever you see something that you like there. Well, you started off on a row that I'm not the wildest about, but yeah. um, you know, I don't know that I've ever put any High West in my mouth. I think you I have because your nephew gave you some. By... Oh, he did. That's right. But that and that, I wasn't the barrel. Mm -hmm. oh, I would I would consider that. I like that blue. That's when you know it's real. <laughs> it's blue. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay. Okay. Uh, Why okay. is that seven nine 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 upside down on the Ingram though? Because somebody Warming. got lost on it. But um, yeah, so some high west. That is from the great state of Wyoming. It's somewhere out west. I know that. Oh, okay. We well, were at that a, would, wait. The 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 product called High West is from the west. I know it's crazy. It is crazy. Then we were at a place the other day that said if you buy two regular bottles of High West, you can then buy a Midwinter Midnight Nights dram, dram mm -hmm. for one forty nine. Yes. Or that. I, but I like that. I think that's fair. I agree. Because they had to invest in all that stuff to get that. So I think that's a fair trade. I uh, have not tried that before. Well, Ingram? I thought about from, picking up that bottle, but I thought, you know, that's a lot of money to spend on something that I have no idea what it tastes like. So I did pass it. That does look good. Though. When I it like says river bottle. aged, all I can think of is the Ohio River and how muddy and nasty <laughs> it is. So that is not something I would want on a label. Okay, very good. <laughs> Uh, here's the barrel stuff. The Ambarana, I absolutely love that. Um, that's the the orange and yellow there. Uh, I it's incredibly sweet. Mm -hmm. But if you're if you're into a, into a sweet bourbon, I think that's a really good one. Uh, that's one of my favorite sweet ones. This blue private release barrel whiskey. I sent that to Cuz and I was like, bro, do we want this? Do we need this? Didn't we pick it up? No, we did not. Oh. At a hundred dollars, we were like, I don't know. That's I don't true. Know. I don't know. It is hard. That a hundred dollars is a lot for. Something you have no idea what you're tasting. I know. That was kind of my issue right there. That's why we need to go to these places that have like a little tasting bar and be like, yes, I need that. <laughs> uh, there's the uh, dovetail, the seagrass, mm -hmm. uh, which we love. Of course, the barrel foundation, uh, the five year, which we really enjoyed when we had that the other day. We got a bottle of that uh, mm -hmm. maybe two weeks ago. Uh, Penelope or the Penelope, as Penelope. some would say, in, in uh, France. Barrel strength, I like it. Rosé cast finish. Not sure if I'd pick that up or not, but... Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about yeah. that. And then a uh, Willet pot still. Willet pot still. That's a fair price. There's no the way that big-ass big bottle right there is for you. No, that's, Jay, that's the small bottle. That's the, the big bottle's one. next to it. There we go. And that's, those are good prices for that. Those I agree. Are fair. I agree. Those are totally fair. Those are fair. Even I mean, if you, most bourbon folks that are really into bourbon are not the biggest fans of the pot still, but it's an amazing bottle. Everybody needs to have one of those. And if you don't know that, that's exactly what their pot still looks like. Yes. Like the actual one where they make the mm -hmm. bourbon. The kitty cat sleeps in it. It looks just like that, yeah. <laughs> I wish I had that yes. picture in front of me. Um, some Garrison Brothers from Texas. The Honeydew here on the left with the yellow neck. Mm -hmm. We have a bottle of that at the house, and I like it, but I don't love it. Like, if it's got artificial sweeteners in it, like, that's it bothers not me. That's not, it's not, it can't be because it says it's bourbon. Oh, uh, Courtney, that tastes so like honey know. to me, man. I don't know. $199 for a bottle I've not tasted that is from Texas, I will not pay for. That's just not going to happen? Not going to happen. Uh, Calumet, uh, solid. The only reason I used to pick up Calumet was they're a very cool bottle. That doesn't happen anymore. Well, I'm a big fan of Calumet, the actual horse racing farm. Right. Which is right outside of New Here's Circle Road. There's a picture of it. <laughs> yeah, there it is. On the left, on the eight-year. Uh, the 16 year I would be intrigued by 150, but my dad have to buy that for me. I did debate picking up this IW Harper though. I have not had that one. The Cabernet Cast. Yes, because yeah. I ge I generally like something that's been in a finished barrel. It's been sitting around, has a little extra flavor. Oh yeah. I do typically like that. Of course, we had the IW Harper here at our house, so we were not getting that. Well, we had the 15 year in this amazing decanter. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the Cabernet Cast, God, Courtney, at 50 bucks, we probably should have tried that. Yeah, probably should have. But, you know, I'm sure we'll run into it. I again. was like waiting to be like totally wowed here because because you already told me we're really full. We have too much shit. We have too much stuff. Now, I, the one thing I can say about Basil Hayden, they are really trying to promote their product these days. They are trying every other angle. They stayed late in the game before they started all the extras as others did. They have the unique... Um, a uh, little, uh, what do you call it, the brass ring around there. Yeah. It's very cool. 
I still don't know if I want to spend money on it, though, y'all. It's just it, light. It's hard for me to 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 invest. Uh, Sixty dollars for Baker Seven. I would do that all yes. day long if I needed Delicious. that. I've got a bottle of Baker, so I don't need it. But Angel's Envy. Still not the biggest we're fan. Kinda, we're kind of split on I that. I wish. No, I just don't really care for That's it. That's one that you, it's right up your alley. I should like it. It's right up your I alley. I like a finished bourbon product, but that just, I don't know what it is. Okay, Blade and Bow, great all day long. Well, 50 that, bucks. That's because your grandmother's name's on there. Yes, but 50 bucks, that's a great deal. Love the bottle. Love the key. Love the accessory to it. And it's 50 bucks. And me and Cuz are uh, part of the uh, Five Key Club. Five Key Club. Yes. I mean, I'm not trying to tuck my own horn. Yeah, now. you are. That's a Barstown Eight, by the way, yes. in the uh, maroon. So we see those a lot. We don't really. We're not crazy about the eight. No, it's got Canadian whiskey in it, and you're not crazy. I, about it's it. going to take a are lot. Are you scared for me. of Canada? I'm not scared They're of Canada. Of ours. I'm not going to spend 135 dollars on something from okay. Canada. Uh, all I can think is Crown Royal. Uh, the Barstown Origin Series Black Label, that's the B.I.B. at $50 all day long. Yes, definitely. This is one of my biggest regrets for coming up on right here, the Hill Rock. Why is it a regret? That's a lot of money, Jay. So that's Solera Aged is where you take, you have a barrel, mm -hmm. 53 gallon barrel. You're aging it. Mm -hmm. You're pulling some out, and then you're putting some more in. Mm -hmm. and you're constantly, like, switching it out. This is something that Blade & Bow does. This mm -hmm. is something that Hill Rock does. I wish I had gotten some of that. It was very highly rated. People on Reddit love this stuff. The reason I was turned off was the price is a little high. Yeah, a little high. It's very high for for something I've not tasted. I think, when I have hmm. not tasted a bottle, I am not going to spend $100 on it. But you're not going to do it because it's from New York. Exactly. I know that. But and if still. it was, but I, A, I love the bottle. I love the cork on it. <laughs> It has an amazing presentation, but that's a lot of money. 150 anywhere from what your lowest price point is 96 bucks. I know, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. No, that's I agree. Lot. That's a lot. Uh, Widow Jane, we got from one New York to another New York. Um, solid. It's okay. I, I think it's fine for the price. Dickel. Yeah. Uh, I've had a Dickel bottle in Bond. I thought it was pretty good. I think it's more like a $25, $30 bottle myself, but whatever. It's fine. Oh, there's the Frey Ranch. We talked about this on the show. We were thinking, yeah. Yes. We were debating that bottle on the right. This is the new um, distillery out of Nevada. We talked about this on one of our first shows. They had just started up. Yeah. And I just wasn't, I love the bottle. It's one of right. my favorite bottles anywhere. I like the color on it. I just wasn't sure at $80. $80 and it's not from Kentucky. <laughs> like. I'm sorry, it, you know. The folks on Reddit said it had an interesting taste, and I started thinking about that Colorado taste. bourbon. I was like, oh. mm, I'm not sure on the interesting taste oh, part. I don't, know. I don't know. Here's some good old staples right here. A little old Forester action. Old Forester, the 1920 Courtney's go-to when she wants to get lit. By the way, on our left here, Cave Hill, the rabbit hole. That's where we're going to be buried, me and you yeah. together. <laughs> Yay, fun little uh, tidbit. I don't know what that's going to be. I don't know what they're charging for that. It's probably 80 bucks, maybe. Something like yeah. that. I don't know. And it, it's, it's pretty, pretty good. Whistle Pig right. is not our shit at all. No, it's not. 2XO. That really say Alpha Romeo. <laughs> 2XO, we think is okay. It's probably a little too expensive, honestly. We got a regular 2XO. We were like, eh, it's solid. Like, I wasn't blown away. So Fiddler's over here. This is from the uh, greater Atlanta area. Courtney has been to the distillery. Yeah, I was at the, but I was at the distillery when they were young. So I don't know what their older stuff tastes like. Mm. Redwood Empire from California. This was the, uh, this is sneaky over here. So the barrel proof right here, the Elijah Creek barrel proof, is in the corner. Like you can barely Far see right, it. right, yeah. $73. And then you get the 10 year uh, private barrel right here for $80. These are probably the best picks of the whole thing, but we already had some. So I didn't yeah, grab it. Yeah, it wasn't. Worth us getting it because we already had some. But that, that, that's a good deal. Is but it was in the very corner, like you couldn't even see. You it. could hardly see it. You have to really look for it to find it. But whatever, that's fine. More EC small batch, mm -hmm. uh, Woodford's. Uh, you know, Lots of different know. ones. They're okay. Knob Creeks. Knob I mean, Creeks. everybody fine. knows what Knob Creek you're getting there. It's it's a quality bourbon. I mean, everybody's had some. Yeah. Maker's Mark One Hundred One. Me and Cuz are big fans. Fifty dollars, fine price for that. A little bullet, which comes in handy. In our family, we drink bullet when people die. 
So we did that last week when my mom died. <laughs> it was actually crazy. we got that big ass half gallon right there. That we did larceny, uh, another Heaven Hill staple. Mm-hmm. A lot of people would shit their pants for this barrel proof right here, Courtney, sixty five dollars. But uh, we didn't love it when we had it. I don't. I'm not Is sure that one hundred twenty five proof? Looks like it. Yeah, that's pretty hot. <laughs> that's, that's, that's spicy. It's a spicy number. Yeah, I went ahead and backed into that. I knew people would be uh, wanting to talk about Tin Cup is one we've had a few times. Not a solid. Fan. It's, it's solid. It's all right. A little Jack Daniels action. We're kind of anti Jack Daniels because we like, we're from Kentucky, so we're kind of anti Tennessee stuff. Yeah. Even Generally. Though still owned by Old Forester. Um, well, Old Fourth, uh, which is from, I think, Memphis, I believe. Or maybe, no, Atlanta. They have the. Um... Usually these Kentucky Owls will be like behind the register. I know. So right? I was surprised to see them out here, but I'm not spending that money on Kentucky Owl. I'm not. I don't. I didn't like it when I. I tried think it. confiscated at 130 is just way too high. Um, Takumi, the red label Kentucky Owl at 150 is just. It's got to be really good for me to get 150 on that Redemption. Now this stuff, guys, for real. I do not like their new bottle style, but. Redemption is a good product. I like this stuff. It's not amazing. It, it's not the kind of stuff you drink mm-hmm. and you go, wow, this is really changing my life. But it's good. I like the rum cask finish. I like the weeded, the white label there. Mm-hmm. It, it should be a little cheaper, but it's good. We drink these during the Raiders games, by the There's way. There's some right there. Of course. Mm-hmm. So anyway, there we go. We're a little, little, little definite double shot at uh, little old Dominic from uh, Memphis. Um, same distillery that produces the healing station that we like oh, so much. Yeah. New Riff, which uh, we like. That's from up and near Cincinnati. Our friend Cuz is a big fan of that. Old Forester 100, which recently hit our uh, mm-hmm. best lower price bourbon. Mm-hmm. Right? Forty three, uh, $44 for a half gallon on that. Right here. Bag. Four Roses, always a good one. A single barrel, that's the best one to go for there, yeah, that's in my always opinion. A good one. That's always good. Yes, always good. Uh, then Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond at 44 That's a good price. Yeah, I think it's a fair price total. It's a fair price. We've seen it at 65 before, so. And then uh, Russell's uh, single barrel. And, ten year, uh, that's always a goodie. You got 50 bucks, go for the Russell's. Courtney tenure. thinks the 10 year is better than the single yes, barrel, and I you do. save $27. I, do. I like oh, it better. Let's see what happens. Long Branch, just skip it. It's okay. Wild Skip Turkey 101 is a good uh, $43, $44 for the uh, the half gallon there, Gordon. Mm, yeah. This is their uh, single, this is their uh, store picks, excuse me. Five Trail, we're going to talk about this a little bit later, or we may not. That's actually a Coors product. So Coors, mm-hmm. the beer brand, bought that a vertical, and they're, oh, okay. uh, yeah, that's part of their deal now. Coors Molson. Did not know that. 2XO at 200 on a store pick. No, that's thank a little you. High. Old Fourth is another Atlanta distillery. Uh, Burns Night, I just don't know what we're getting there. That's why we didn't get it. Must be all the locals. Yeah, for sure. And a little more Fiddler. That's a, that's an Atlanta uh, distillery. And then there's your oh, Bard's Towns, baby. Look at all that. That's a lot. Yes, Bard's Town. Let me move this up so we can see the prices on that. Forty three ninety nine for the white. The white origin is really good bourbon. That is really good. It is really good. That's bourbon. terrific. We paid that approximately when we were in uh, San Diego. Yeah, we thought that was mm-hmm. a steal. It was a Absolutely. steal. In, in California, that's a steal for that. Uh, the Black Lego B.I.B., we love that. 50 seems a, just a little bit high, but that's fine. I was thinking 42, 43. Uh, the Rye I've not had, the Green Label. For us, Green Label is... Rye. But I have Green rye. Label that's not Rye. This is the uh, yeah. number two discovery was green, so whatever. That's before they kind of did it all that way. And then that, that wood finish one, the 159, that is ass. Like that, we, we, mm-hmm. that is one of my least favorite bourbons we've ever had, honestly. They got the uh, Collaborative Series, uh, the Plantation Rum, which we like, but we don't love. I probably mm-hmm. wouldn't pay 160 for that again. It's a lot of, the four a lot square, of money. The Four Square is... Another rum one, but it's probably worth one sixty. I it's think really the good. didn't you buy the four square at the distillery? Yeah. Yeah. And yes. Across and the street. No, not across the street. This is in the adjacent parking lot. So if you need to get your bourbon and your live girls on, you've got the same spot to go to. So 
There you go. Check it out at Tower Liquors. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching our. Uh, thanks for watching our video. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. See you next time. Peace. Cheers. All right, Corny. There you go. There you go. Okay, folks. We got a lot of chats. We to talked. Catch up a, on. We, we talked a lot about some shit in there. We did. Yeah. Um, I know that uh, Colleen had something to say earlier. Can I even find it? Colleen, I'm sorry if I missed you, yo. Screw Neil. Okay, that's what we got. I like the screw Neil right there. Mm -hmm. And Whiskey Nose is with us tonight. Thank says, you. Brock, cheers, bro. Hey. Uh, AU Taxman says, Fiddler does some good stuff. Their rye is good. I have not had I'm gonna Fiddler. I'm going to take your word on that, bro. It was a cute little tour when we went to the distillery. And it was it was good. But, um, Commitment oh. says, can confirm I am where my feet are. There you go. Currently, they are in California. That's what I'm talking well, about. Well, I love Cuz's comment. What is that? I would not have predicted that to come from what is Cuz he, from across the street. What is he talking about? He's talking about Tower Liquors and how you can get the boobies next door. Oh. I mean, that we had nice. at our event, we had bourbon and burgers, but apparently, <laughs> if you go to Tower Liquors, you can get both of them. Otak says, hang on, or I'm not done writing on the phone number. I love that. <laughs> My man right there. I'm not sure what you get on the phone. <laughs> I think it's more of a uh, in-person <laughs> visit. Um, Colleen, I, I was kind of watching out of the corner of my eye. Colleen, I think, bought some uh, Angel's Envy. Oh, okay. She couldn't remember if we had panned it or promoted it. Okay. I like Angel's Envy. You weren't a I fan. I don't like it. I know, and, and that's from Louisville. We usually like that. I wish I did like it, but I don't, so... But scroll back up. We got a bunch of other comments. Oh, well, honey, like, what are you? No. Which one? Up, 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 up. Higher? Mm hmm. Uh, AU Taxman says, I used the Wild Turkey 101 to make mint juleps for the Derby Day. Mm. Not my thing, but people love them. I That's know, all that it takes. People love them, but I hate we don't mint like, juleps. I don't like juleps either. I dislike a mint julep, and I will not have them in my household. Uh, AU256 says, Russell's 10 is the tits. Especially if you are at Tower Liquors, because you can just go next door and get those too. Corey W says Russell's ten year is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I like that. AU Taxman mm -hmm. says the old black wax redemptions were incredible. Oh. I'm not sure that I got in at that time. Um, the redemptions were kind of new on the redemption tip. Yeah. Honestly. And uh Cus has been looking for a thirteenth colony double oak. Oh my goodness, I didn't wow. know that. Uh, Whiskey Nose talking about the Elijah Craig. A124 is decent, but C923 is killer. Okay. wonder what we got when we went to Evan Williams. We got one I of those. Know. I don't know what it was. And Cuz says $65 is good for the larceny yeah. barrel proof. Agree. Interesting. Uh, AU Taxman said, should have bought all the Elijah Craig barrel proofs. <laughs> It's, I don't think we needed all the Elijah barrels. It's hot. I, yeah. I'm not a puss about that stuff, but it's still hot to me. Kanuma says, Re received an interesting War Eagle on the airport shuttle. Thought it was odd when I heard an Australianish accent, yo. Oh. War Eagle to me. They are from New Zealand and sent their daughter to Auburn. I was going to say, is that the kicker? What? No, the kicker. What was the guy, the kid who was from Australia that played at Auburn? Uh, Oscar Chapman. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, War name Steve says, wife in Texas for a funeral. Picked me up a couple of bottles of Early Times B.I.B. Oh. And the architect for 57 apiece. Early Times Bottle and Bond has a special place in Jay Tate's world. Oh, it sure does. On his 50th birthday. That was his first drink at 9 a.m. First drink. <laughs> first drink. It was like he drank that and I was like, here, eat a biscuit. I drank <laughs> Please, a it's going to be a very long day. <laughs> A first drink, second drink, third you need drink, have, fourth drink. You need drink. to have a biscuit and something to absorb some of this at 9 a.m. Me and Tommy drank that all day long. On the um, on the uh, bourbon shuttle. You fuckers <laughs> fell asleep, but me and Tommy were still drinking. No, that. you were talking like chatty Cathy. Nobody was listening. Yeah, I know. That's kind of how it goes. <laughs> uh, Mike B. jumps in at Whiskey Nose. Uh, Elijah Craig Bailproof C920 was the first allocated bottle I ever oh. bought. Interesting. Elijah Craig is, I feel like, that's a tough one for me. Because when it's really good, it absolutely slaps. But when it's just okay, I don't love it. So the one that we bought from uh, the Evan Williams Experience, mm -hmm. that was really, we tasted that before we yeah, bought we did. it. Yeah, we did. And that was really good. We enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. 
It was maybe delicioso. Uh, Whiskey Nose jumps in again uh, to say, Warning, Steve, early times BIB are legit, and I keep them on hand. Mm -hmm. Again, on my 50th birthday, we went on a bourbon tours trip all through central Kentucky, and I was just pounding that motherfucker. Well, we were on a, a um, chauffeur bus. Bourbon, like we, we, bourbon none Town of Tours. Us, yes, yeah. and they were, it was awesome. It was a great experience. And the best part of the night, best part of it, they let us stop at White Castle on the way back. <laughs> oh, they sure did. Because <laughs> we all needed something. And we were so, we were hungry and drunk. And so everybody ordered like the suitcase <laughs> of burgers. And we had like way too much food, but it was. But it was it's good, good to have too much rather yes. than not enough. True. true. Uh, true. Bubby Doo 3 says, hello. Hello. What's up, Bubby? Glad to have you here. Uh, you tax message any few fans in here. Heaven Hill just hired their head distiller, Sydney Jones, to run their new distillery. She's incredible and will do great things at Oh, well, somebody's is, in the know. I've not had that, but I, I've, I've seen, seen it. The, I've yeah. seen it, but we have not picked it up yet. Is there a man I could talk to about that? Oh, my Lord. All right, so what, do you want to go to photos next? Sure. Okay, photos. We've still got Courtney's Corner. Um, some yes. things that have gone on uh, in yes. the last couple weeks for me and Courtney. We were in, what the fuck was this? Uh, this is in Newman. Noonan? Noonan, Noonan. Noonan, Georgia. Georgia. We stopped at Long John Silver's. Okay, so this all started from our chat What, when we had the best um, uh, fast food. Remember <laughs> we had this? And I've been thinking about Long John Silver's and I've been missing it. So I I, did, I went to the Bubby Long Bubby said John's. he helped us move today, Courtney. Oh, he's a fucking baller. Yes. Bubby, you are a baller. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you. That was a tough gig for us. He's was, uh, the... Uh, those guys crushed it. But. West Virginia fan. Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Whatever. See, I told you I'd be lit tonight. Am I correct? Yeah, you poured that shit way too heavy earlier. Anyway. So, so I had to go to Long John Silver's site and find out where the closest Long John Silver's was. So on our way back from Atlanta, I was like, we're going to Long John Silver's. And we went there, and it was just as delicious and greasy as ever. It was amazing. I, Long John Silver's, I grew up on it without even knowing you. This is before I met you. Yes. And then when we came together. Now, I mean, the fish is smaller, but you can still get crumbs for free there. If y'all know what I'm talking about with the crumbs. Wait, they didn't charge us for that? They did not charge us for the crumbs. Damn. Yes. Now, the fries are still balls like they've always been, but the fish was Everything delicious. else is really good. Mm, fish and Jed gets chicken. Uh, this is our oh dog. God. This is uh, this is Maverick the pug. <laughs> So ridiculous. He lays in his bed and he just like spreads out. When I come over, I go, hey, what's going on, Mavi? He goes, Whoa. he rolls over like he rolls a over big. on his belly. <laughs> I said, let me get that belly, big boy. Yes, he's ridiculous. Everybody loves uh, pug pictures. I got this in traffic the other day. He says, I love my chupacabra. Uh, <laughs> I absolutely like love the idea of a chupacabra. <laughs> How many, How many legs? legs does he have, or is that an appendage? That must be th four legs and a cock. I don't know, man. Like. <laughs> But I got a, I almost got assaulted by a chupacabra in the uh, was in the, the parking lot of, of the, the Angel, uh, Stadium, Angel Stadium, the LA, LA. Angels <laughs> Stadium. Yeah, very scary. Um, uh -huh. It was in the trash can. I thought you guys were like the chupacabra. <laughs> this just says yuck. I was at um, Walmart. The this other is day. the only place you didn't even have to say it was Walmart because everybody knew this was Walmart. Nobody else has this shit on their shelves. <laughs> Cinnamon Toast Crunch pancakes. Complete. Cinnadus pancakes. Lucky Charms pancakes? Kits. Like, are you serious, bro? Lucky Charms complete marshmallow pancake kit. All that sounds horrible. Uh, Bubby Doe says... Wait, uh, wait. The calorie contents on the bottom, does it say? Oh, my God. How much sugar's in it? Like, 24, 24 grams, grams of sugar? Holy oh, my shit. God. <laughs> Guys, for real, this is... This is 310 <laughs> calories per... Over here for the Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh my god! <laughs> Marshmallow shapes and colors may vary. And we but. wonder as a as, we wonder why all our kids are <laughs> struggling. Hey, Bubby Doe says that was one of his favorite moves, Courtney. Oh, we appreciate it. So, Thank you. We didn't ask a lot of them because there, <laughs> there wasn't a lot of a whole shit. Lot of my stuff, mom did have a lot of shit, and then we also hung out, like try to hang out, like be yeah. cool and everything. Well, somebody has a birthday coming up. He's going to be twenty. He's going to be. 20, 20, but it is a 21st he's, year. He's No, he's pretending he's 21 on his ID. <laughs> wait, what? Oh, wait. Colleen says... I am not touching Did you get it? Sounds delicious. Come on, Colleen. No way. We can't do that. 
Cinna dust. Like, I can't do that. Cinna dust <laughs> sounds just like something you clean up out of the corner of your living room. <laughs> like, not good. <laughs> uh, this is something that we had at the uh, place the other day. Um, Local 3. Yes. The Old Soul 13. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, that was fun. It was uh, good times. We used to, I, I previously had a business relationship with Old Soul, our friends at Cathead Distillery. Mm-hmm. First of all, it was an incredible pour. And uh, my friend Major, who works there, he was like, buy that bottle. But I'm not sure that, that was a feasible Mm-mm. alternative for us. No, it was not. But uh, the old soul was really good. Uh, I'm going to put these pictures up without really understanding what they are just yet. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. This is, this is <laughs> uh, hold on. <laughs> this is me and uh, I'm just going to say one a, of my a, friends a, from the a bunker. A friend? A friend? One of my friends from the, uh-oh. I messed it up right there. Hold on. What have I done wrong here, Courtney? You've messed a lot up, Jay. That intern can't get it right again. This is me and uh, one and of our friends. And an undisclosed person. Undisclosed uh-huh. person uh, who bought us a lot of bourbon. And I think he was trying to get, was he trying to get in my ear? Or was he trying to get <laughs> I don't know. Eyes? I think he might lick your ear at the end I've of got night. four uh, stickers on my Name chest tags. there. Name tags. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. And also this one came in. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know what this is all about. You look disgruntled. Yeah, I do look disgruntled. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm happy I have bourbon in my hands. Uh-huh. You're but, like, uh, oh, no, I think that if if I was to look at this picture as your wife, this is the look that Jay is, should I really finish drinking this or not? Oh, wait, hold on. I've got your name tag on me, <laughs> Courtney Administrative Assistant, J.G. Tate. Husband of AA. Husband of AA. <laughs> and then JG, the Commodore over here is what it says. Well, the one on the right is the most important one. <laughs> Which one is that? The one that says you're the husband of AA. Oh, yeah. That I that look that is area. Jay saying, I have this pour in my hand. Should I really take this or not? That's what that look is. <laughs> uh, this is my mom right here. Um, my mom and my daughter, or our daughter, excuse me, Courtney. I didn't mean to disrespect you. It's uh, Carol and uh, Maddie, and uh, as we mentioned earlier in the show, Carol passed away on Saturday, so we've been thinking about her a lot, mm-hmm. and uh, she was a cool chick. Um, I had a lot of fun talking to her. So she moved down here in 2018, and mm-hmm. we got to hang out with her a bunch, and uh, I got to know her better than I ever have. So That's true. As an very, adult, yes. I was very lucky to get to know her. You got that last bit of time with her, and that was amazing. I just wish my last conversation with her would have been a little well, bit better. Well, everybody... Does that, but that's well, in okay. the movies, in the movies, it's always like, oh, you're going to have this great conversation yeah, with your parents. Well, that's but the movies. <laughs> it's not the mom, real world. My mom was mad at me the last time that that's okay. I talked to her. That's, but that's part that's okay. of it. But uh, yeah, that's, she was uh, mad at Maddie, too. So. She was mad at Maddie, too. She was too. perpetually mad at me, so it's all good. <laughs> so that's uh, my mom on the left and Maddie, of course, on the right. Yes. And, uh, we're very proud great of picture. both. Yeah, it so, is a really good picture. That's the one I that. used in her uh, obit. Her obituary, yeah. So, yeah. Yep. So, so, are we drinking one to Mama? We are. Are we going to have Penelope uh, Architect? I think that's a good idea. Uh, you know, I, you I'm thinking Old Granddad 114 is a better fit for this. Yeah, but Steve was talking about the architect earlier, so I, I feel like I should drink that. Courtney, okay. I, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Where's that man. coming from? Ma'am? Well, where's Penelope from? Opinion. Is it actually from Kentucky? It was not? MGP at the time. Is it a Kentucky? Bot- bot- hold, let me finish. Bottled by Penelope Bourbon Bottling Company in Bardstown, Kentucky. Okay, you can have it then. But we'll see what happens. We were not going to drink one to Carol that was not me. That was not from Kentucky. Well, she's from Kentucky. Well, no, hold on. She's actually born in Jacksonville. She loved Louisville. And she that's loved where Louisville. she loved Louisville. That is 100 so. where she was from. So if you have a beverage in your hand, cheers to Carol. To Mama Tate. She said, "Don't cheers. ever put my picture on the show." But guess but what, here Mom? You go, Mom? We're going to do it now. <laughs> There we go. I love my mom. She's a really cool chick, man. And uh, we'll just finish with this one. Why do you have to always show that at the end? Why? And I did not notice until maybe the last show or the show before that, that I have like breadstick residue in my hair. Bubby Doe says, I love y'all's history about how y'all met. Did we talk about them? Did we talk about that with them tonight? Or, or, or this that. afternoon about how, we, how you were putting out? Uh, no. And, like, that is not true. Oh, my bad. I don't know that. I don't know that we oh, shared that. He wants to know which architect. I got you, bro. So this bad boy That's is 104 now. proof. Build number four. Wait, four. <laughs> hey, Jay, I'm going to put it this way. And if you put it this way, it's the same. Four. It's amazing. Four. <laughs> I fool you, Zoe. <laughs> hey, how do, Cordy, how do we meet? 
Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Were you but there? Anyway. Were you there? <sighs> Just put the mouse away. <laughs> yes. So anyway, yes, that's the breadstick pick of this chick. <laughs> Colleen says drink. If, the there's bread a bread stick, if there's a breadstick pick, drink it, baby. So this is me in uh, 2019. God, is it really? Yes. You look so young. Uh, any other comments you have? Please tell them. 2019 tell went shot for shot with Old Forester 1920, which is 115 proof with uh, 13 of my center, uh, my employees. And this bitch was lit. <laughs> this bitch was fucked up. <laughs> this bitch laid it in the Christmas tree. <laughs> um, wow. And of wow. course, being the host, you all know how it is when you're a host or hostess, you're the last to eat. So when everybody left, I just sat at the counter and not at the counter stool. I sat in like a normal sized chair at the counter. So it looks like I'm a munchkin yeah. eating, yeah. just shoveling That's food into my face. We usually so, have a yes. high, we have a, it's like a high top kind well, of. Well, it's a counter. Yeah, it's a counter. Yeah. And then you were in a regular chair. And was, I was just. And Kanuman, for my favorite avatar on the whole bunker, is he put little uh for Christmas. Yes, he, he put, put the a Santa, Santa hat on you and then the ones on the. On the <laughs> Half eaten breadsticks. On the breadsticks too. Canoeman, the next time we're together, we are getting breadsticks. I don't care where we are. <laughs> Cassidy pieces, I'd use that breadstick bread to stop up some. Sop up some. You can do some sopping up. Yes. Like if you're using low chipotle. That's what that's for. Um, there was one picture I wanted to show. Before. This is kind of out of context here, but uh, these are some bottles that Maker's Mark announced this week. They're going to be doing 10 of these. Um, in, in deference or reference to great champions. Man of War, uh, one of the great horses of all time. This bad boy is going to go on sale in October, and I think all the proceeds from this one go to like a pantry they're trying to trying oh, to build well, shit, in Lexington. Man. Let me have Guys, it. Guys, I, I mean, seriously, well, like, there's so nothing cool. I wouldn't do for this. I love the, the whoever designed this is freaking amazing that the whole, like, the, the, the whole... The bottle is individual, but it has the sequence across it. I just think that's really that cool. That is really cool. That is really cool. It looks like Man of War, like, actually running or whatever. Yeah. And he was, and so, if you actually go back. Yeah. Look at it. Okay, so you see how lean Man of War was? Most horses this day, these days are not that lean. Well, he's from, like, 19, the teens or whatever. I know. That's what I'm saying. Horses are different different sizes and also days. people don't know this but the whole concept of an upset when you see oh my god they got ups auburn got upset by yale or whatever mm -hmm. it's from man of war man of war lost one time in his career and he lost it to a horse called upset i did not know that well now you do <laughs> now i've learned two things tonight you guys that's what an upset Thanks, is yeah. jay that's the reference to that wow so i really hope you are that really knowledgeable I hope I get my hands on some of that. I am of war. so glad that I have such a smart husband. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wonder where, 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 my, where my photos went. There Stop. There. That's not the photos. That's the one I want. Yeah. That's the one I want. Mm -mm. Hey, mm -mm. we're missing something. Um, we didn't do our secret bourbon. Oh, we did not. You want to do our secret bourbon? Yes. Okay. Well, let me go to Main Street. Well, it's not there. secret. It's been sitting on a table all night. <laughs> I bought this today on kind of a whim. It's called Barman, 1873. I actually have a graphic made for this. Or, well, I don't know where our interns are at. Uh, this is Coors. Yes, the birthday, uh, the uh, banquet bourbon, the banquet beer people are in the bourbon business. It's called Molson Coors. They own Blue Run. They own some other fucking brand, and they own this one. They bought this one too, the Barman. I okay. love this logo. They had a drink off today at the ABC. A drink off. I'm sorry. I don't had... think that's what they call it. No, nah, they didn't call it. They didn't call it that. They had a <laughs> they sampling. Didn't call it sampling. They had a sampling. <laughs> a drink off. <laughs> they had a sampling at at, at uh, our ABC today of the barman. I am fucking dying to see if this is any good at all. Like, hold on, I gotta finish this. <laughs> I love the drink off. Wait, Colleen said drink. I'm trying to figure out what is it that she's her and Josh were drinking. I think to. it's every time that you show the breadsticks. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. So this is Coors. They're trying to get into the bourbon game. 
And this is one of. Oh, this... wait, wait, wait. It's got the glug, glug, glug. Hold on. Ooh, ooh. I do love that sound. Oh, I know that. You know that sound because that's something you. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Mike B says Major Zero may have told you, but have you done a blend of OGD and Woodford uh, Double Oak? Did we do I that think last? We did that last. Time. Did we do that two weeks ago? Yeah. And it did slap. It was it was good because I don't like. I found out from doing this show. I am not a fan of anything double oaked. Uh, AU Taxman looking ahead on our graphics says Peggy is a legend. Peggy No Stevens is part of the whiskey. Hold on. I would say her name is Noe. No, I was gonna say no. I was gonna say Noe. We'll see how it goes. I'll ask her. I will. Oh, shut up. She's in the Hall of Fame. She's in the Distillers Hall of Fame. I would say and her name is Noe. She's the blender here. I am. I am. This is like the crescendo of the whole fucking show for me. Did you have to pour it this thick? Okay, then trade with me, big baby. Watch the lipstick. Are you sick? I am not sick. Put it in your mouth. Carol. Hmm. Hmm. So this starts as a uh, bar sound barber company's juice. And Re then they add MGP. Really? And then they add That's MGP. That's very to interesting it. because. This, you know, it's new then because that didn't happen. Yeah, no, they age, didn't have any of their own juice. No age statement on this. I, I love that they're like getting into this. I feel like if, if we got into the bourbon game like 10 years ago and we had a bunch of money, we would have done what Bur well, Barstow Bourbon Company does. You have to have a lot of money. To do yeah, that's there. some highline money there, bro. That's a lot of money. I mean, they're not, they're not thousandaires like us. Hey, Taxman says it's pronounced no. No? See, I had a girl that worked for me, and her last name was N-O-E, and it was Noe. So. Wait, didn't I say no? You said no. I said Noe. Thank you, A.U. Taxman. Well, thank, thank you. For... you. Hey. I said Noe because, but I will tell you an interesting story about the girl that worked for me, and her last name was Noe. Okay. She's the one that I had to fire because she stole toilet paper from me. <laughs> Swear to God. Wait, why Toilet paper gonna... and hey, gas. Let's not do that. <laughs> Colleen says, I am not sick. Put it in your mouth. And he needs to be on a t-shirt. <laughs> it's because Courtney, like on Monday, she goes, I've got a tickle in my throat. I think I might be getting sick. I no, go, that fuck. is not what I said. I was like, I said, fuck. I have a tickle in my throat. I am going to take an antibiotic and I'm going to get the, um, go get the, uh, what's the shit I take all the time? The zinc and the, um, oh, shit. Uh, not the elderberry. Zinc. Not the zinc. Guess no. what? I took it for two days and I feel <laughs> Not the zinc. Wet. Oh my God. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, man. Zinc is great. Look at this. Uh, Bubby Doe says, I'll, I'm literally watching y'all all night. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't know old people could be this funny. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, don't I know old people could be this drunken. <laughs> hey, Bubby, I'm going to knock this off, even though I really like the comment. But this fucking graphic over here on the left, that, that like lion with the fucking shit, whatever it is. Jay, I'm going to tell you right now, that's my family crest. That is... You guys are... <laughs> You guys are Croatian. We are not Croatian. You're way, Welsh. Well, Welsh. And that looks like a Welsh crest to me. That looks amazing. That, that, that crest is so awesome. Yeah. I, I was really hoping this was going to be really good so I could drink that. I that mean, crest. it's good. Well, guess what? We bought the bottle, so we're going to be drinking it. Mm. It's pretty good, though. I mean, it's not it's like. It's good. It's good. How much was it? 30? Well, no. You said 50? 36 99 Oh, okay. Was, I would yeah. buy this for 36 even though it's in a wine bottle. They had a, uh, what did I say earlier? I said it was, they were. They yeah, were, drink off at the ABC <laughs> drink, store. Drink off at the ABC <laughs> store. Uh, Don from uh, Maastricht, it's got to be the middle of the night there, right? Exactly. He He's says, put I'm his all wooden tore shoes up. up for the night. I'm all tore up, don't know what to do. He has um, turned off the windmill and put up his wooden shoes for the night, and he is just basking in the glory of the bourbon blend. Hey, you're not going to care about this, but NPR does a thing on the YouTubes where they do a... Uh... NPR, you are old. Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me finish the story before you judge me. They do a thing where you, they do like a concert in a cubicle. Okay. A concert in a cubicle? Yes. Okay. And so they had 311 on this week, and they okay. sing the song Amber. I know. I love that and song. And they played it in a cubicle. Corny, it was so okay, good. Okay, I might. I'm gonna have to watch that. Then. It was so good. I'm gonna have to see and hear that. 
Uh, yeah, they did that, and they did Beautiful Disaster. I love that song. I, oh, I love Amber. Well, Amber or Beautiful Disaster? Amber. It's a great song. No, it is. I, it's a great song. I remember I got, you used to have to listen to CDs in your Sequoia. <laughs> and I got you Amber from Red yes. Rocks. You and it was that. so sweet, y'all. I used to travel up to Kentucky, and he would be going to whatever bowl game Auburn was in in December. Yeah, that's true. And I'd be taking Maddie in the Sequoia by myself, and so he'd make me basically the equivalent of the 80s mixtape on a CD. 100%. Yeah. And I had a, I, I was very fancy. I had a CD disc changer in my Sequoia <laughs> that I just got rid of two years ago. <laughs> I know. And, and uh, yeah. But what ended up happening, the reason I got rid of my Sequoia is because the radio button wasn't working quite right and my disc changer wasn't <laughs> was working good. anymore. So it was time for a new vehicle. <laughs> um, OTAG knows it's called Tiny Desk Concerts is what okay. they're called. So and, somebody uh, else is familiar with this. A U taxman jumped in to say Tiny Desk oh, Concerts. Oh, okay. So and this is a Don thing. And Don Proper Dickens said Tiny Desk had 311 shit, man. Okay, so like... Hey, man. That's and something I remember. Cut. This is going to surprise you. Can Cuss says Amber is the color of your energy. I don't know what it Whoa. is in that song, but I just love that song. I know. I, that song is being played this weekend. And I'm going to enjoy it. I remember the and first... And y'all can get like... I'm never like... It gives me like a bohemian kind of thought of like, I don't know. It's just. Bohemian Rhapsody? No, like just like you're on the beach and there's like wind and oh, you're wow. in a wow. long skirt and yeah. Wow. Maybe okay. smoking well, um, a cigarette. You, I have never seen you smoke, so. Yes, you have. That's, have, I, have I? Yes. Um, the first time I played that Amber for you. I honestly thought I was gonna get lucky five seconds later. You seemed like really ready to go. Jay, I don't think you need any more bourbon tonight. Well, that's a, I, that's I think a corny you, problem. You need to hydrate. Hydrate. <laughs> Hold on, Cassidy P says, Amber is the color of my bourbon. Yes, exactly. Whoa. That is a good song. By the way, I mentioned this, uh, Peggy No Stevens. Uh, no, we. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, That's she where is we a, got derailed. <laughs> she's a tremendous. The No's are big. I think Jim Beam people. Okay. I think Parker No is a uh, big Jim Beam, Jim Beam guy. So she's kin to them, and she's the uh, the, the master tester for uh, Barman. And I, I, I think she's done well. She probably didn't have a lot to work with. I think it's good. But it's tasty. $37, I think it's good. And that is really sad of me because mm -hmm. I really go with how much I like a bourbon based on its price. And I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Bobby Doe says the Tiny Desk concerts are good. I wish I could play that on here. You can't because, well, know. we aren't actually. We'll get in trouble. Yeah, we'll get in trouble. But they had um, 10,000 Maniacs played on there like a couple years ago. And okay, really... well, now we know what our writing, our music is tomorrow while we're riding in the car. Wait, hold on. That's up to Cuz because we're, oh, we're rolling with Cuz and Bex. Tomorrow. Well, I'm sure he could probably give us a little time on that. Wait. Yeah, he would probably do that. Yeah. He's, he's kind of a uh, consensus builder. I told you like an hour ago I was going to get fucked up because you kept pouring me these big ass fucking. That's your problem. That's no. not mine. Do we have other things we got to talk about? Oh, we got Courtney's Corner. Courtney's Corner. Courtney's Corner. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Jay, I want to I want to hear the jingle. It's time for C -C 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 Courtney's Corner. Presented Courtney's by <laughs> Presented by RB3 and me. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do Courtney's Corner. You guys ready? Y'all ready? Oh yes, y'all were waiting for this shit. There it is. <laughs> right there. I love it, man. <laughs> Courtney's Corner is best comedy movies. Yes. Yeah, so like this is a movie that when you're scrolling through and you're on and you're scrolling and you're like, oh my god, that's hysterical. I want to watch this shit. My number one every single time is Step Brothers. I know. Jeff I know you Brothers love that. makes me fucking cry laughing when he goes up and puts his nut sack on, <laughs> on the drum set. It it's really just funny. too much for me. It makes me cry laughing every single time. It's hysterical. I love it. No, I like I like Step Brothers too. It's really funny. Um, so Jay's number one is Jackass. Like the first. You and, We've so had a discussion a little when, bit about Jackass. When before. Maddie was young, like a baby, mm -hmm. you, Cordy, of course, it's not a secret, Cordy runs a child care center. 
We would have Thursdays, I think it was. Yes. Where Maddie would stay there and then yeah, we would go out and see Yeah, she'd stay there and we would go to lunch in a movie. And I talked Courtney into seeing the Jackass movie, the first one. Mm-hmm. Together. And you were kind of... I was crying. We had seen that. We had seen it on TV, on, yes. on cable. But when he put the, the, the car up his ass or whatever. Oh, my God. I, I mean, I was like <laughs> hyperventilating. And the... Um, <laughs> I was like, oh my God, this is so the, funny, uh, it's funny, the, it's funny. The mouse and the snake. The, oh, the yeah. Mouse. Yes, the snake was going at the mouse. Yes. Chris Pontius was pee-pee. That was really funny. <laughs> that was really funny. So, um, yeah, Jackass for me, like, that just reminds me of some shit that I would have done with my friends in mm -hmm. high school. We actually did some of that stuff. Yes. Um, Corny says, Step Brothers, The Hangover, the, the first hangover, one. The Hangover, the first one. That was another one I was crying in. That, that was just really, really funny. That's the one in Vegas. That yes. was really funny. When they wake up, when he's, <laughs> they finally find him on the rooftop. <laughs> yeah. Fried like a piece of bacon. <laughs> Corny, also a fan of Bridesmaids. Uh, Bridesmaids is freaking hysterical when she shits in the, <laughs> sorry. When she is um, trying on the dress, the very fancy dresses, and she um, is experiencing some, Uncomfortable she bowel says, oh, issues. She says, this is going to happen says, right here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's just going to happen right here. <laughs> and she sits down the street and goes. Bleh. It's happening. It's happening. That was really funny. <laughs> uh, Wedding Crashers. Another Will Ferrell. Wedding Crashers is hysterical, too. Like, I just. No. Hold on. No, yeah, Will Ferrell a... is the one. He goes, meatloaf. We want it now. Yes. It's not actually. What, I mean, he's in it, but it's. Um, it's uh, Owen, uh, Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that and Bradley Cooper's in that. And then I had to go old school, uh, sixteen candles, because today I actually had a reference at work, and I said, because somebody said, "Oh my gosh," because my stomach was growling. And she said, "You must be really hungry." And I said, "Yes, Donger needs food." And Donger she, needs she food. She goes, "Huh?" <laughs> and I was like, "Never mind, you don't understand." <laughs> sixteen candles is a really good movie. I like that. Yes. Uh, for me, Spinal Tap, like. That's pretty funny. Let's take it to 11. But these go to 11. <laughs> Let's get to 11. Uh, Friday, go, damn! Uh, I love Friday. Friday, probably in the theater, the funniest movie I've ever seen in my life. It was really funny. Naked Gun, 89, that came out. That is old school. That is, that is some hysterical shit that wouldn't get made today. You know what's fucked up about Naked Gun? So Leslie Nielsen is the star of that show. Mm -hmm. He used to come to the Blue Gray Classic all the time where they were raised money in the summer. Mm-hmm. The tennis one? Uh, the golf one. The golf one, okay. Um, but I wasn't here yet. This is like 93 to 97. Mm -hmm. And my friend Tim Gale, who worked for the advertiser back in the day, he was like, oh my God, I can't tell how many times I've interviewed Leslie Nielsen. I was like, oh, wow. God, if I'd had one chance to wow. interview him. Holy shit. Nick Gunn also had O.J. Simpson, who passed away this week. Uh, today. today. Or yesterday, actually, from a cancer. A and all the news, I would say, according to his family. Whatever. We're not getting on that. Uh, airplane. That's one that I had on video disc. My dad was an early adopter to video disc. <laughs> he had to put that motherfucker in there and watch it. <laughs> so I watched Airplane so many times. Yes. Uh, and Leslie Nielsen's in that one, too. And Talladega Nights, a.k.a. Ricky Bobby. Uh, that is really good. That one is, is a laugh for sure. And um, especially when the little kid just loses his marbles. Yeah, that yeah. was really good. And but, um, we, I think you really liked that, too, because you were up there at Talladega in that same time period as a reporter. Yeah. And you actually got to meet Will Ferrell. So I met Will Ferrell and met uh, Jack, the guy from 30 Rock, who's like the... Jack McBrayer. Jack McBrayer, who's part of their uh, team. And then um, uh, Reed He's Rothschild. actually on a new show now. Is he really? He's on a show. It's, what is um, he playing? It's like a reality show about... Uh, oh, it's um, it's called so. There's a Instagram um that I follow called Shit. Zillow Gone Wild. So it's basically houses that are like fucked up on the inside, and they're asking like crazy money for them. And so he, they're actually going to turn that into a show, and he's going to be the narrator of it. Perfect. I Perfect. can't wait to watch that. That's gonna be funny. He is hysterical. Revenge says no happy Gilmore. Not that I didn't like it. Like, it just wasn't that funny to me. Adam Sandler's just not that great. I don't, I, I know, I, I don't, don't really get feel that. it. I don't get it for him. I don't know what it is. There's something about him. I, I think there's an edge to him that just doesn't do it for me. I don't know what it is. Uh, the movie that just missed for me would have been super bad. 
That would have been my next pick. Oh, super um, bad. It's pretty damn funny. All the dick draws. Yes. <laughs> and then McLovin. And McLovin the whole, when he yeah. goes into the store. <laughs> Wait. With his one, his you came name. up with McLovin? He's like, what's your last name? <laughs> like, McLovin? <laughs> American Pie is funny. American Pie is That's really funny. funny. Um, funny. The, flute, the flute comment was really <laughs> funny. That's I a classic. Band camp. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty funny. So there are a lot of good ones. Airplane for me is just kind of like, excuse me. Um, that's because my dad had the video discs and he bought me that. He had the fart machine too? Is that what that was about? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about you farting. I didn't fart. That sounds it's, not, like, it's not a bourbon blend without Jay passing gas. <laughs> that sounds like you might have been saying that on me. I'm not <laughs> did you control. did you do the jingle? I did not do a jingle. It's time for Cordy's. Jay's got to do the jingle. He's got to make a jingle for me. Uh, Corey W thinks that uh, knocked up was funny. That was pretty funny. Yeah. Catherine Heigl was hot at one point. Yeah. Now we know who the fuck she is. Um, Dom Proper Dickens says those Adam Sandler movies are awesome. They've just been eclipsed on all the funniest lists. You know. I like I said, I don't. Oh, I can't find. I, the only thing I've ever loved Adam Sandler for was for the um, Thanksgiving song. That was pretty good. That was really good. A turkey, yeah. Turkey Took for me. me a turkey, turkey for, for you. you. Can like you lick eat, my no. balls, you dirty whore? That's not the lyric. Okay. I'd like to eat my turkey in a big brown shoe. Mm. Those are the lyrics. So. T Park, who was with us uh, in Atlanta last week. Mm -hmm. What a fucking stud that guy. What a stud that guy is. Since I'm late to the party, but I turned on and saw a screen with Jay and the word jackass directly below. <laughs> Hope all is well, fam. Wait, we gotta laugh for it that, It is appropriate. Bro. <laughs> we gotta laugh for that one, you know. Uh, let's see. Corey says, can we do favorite war movies next week? Oh. I don't have... You know, favorite and war movies just doesn't do it for me. But I am willing... Courtney's Corner does get to pick the topic, so... I'm up for negotiation. <laughs> you can, corner. you it. can come to me with a topic, and we can discuss. Archie says the Kentucky Masters Board meltdown is a sight to behold. Lots of UK athletic department phone <laughs> reading. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, God. No, Mark Pope That's is so part funny. of the family, bro. <laughs> That's so funny. Mark Pope I is part of the it. family. What is this? I love mean? it. That's awesome. That Mark Pope video. Oh, what is the Mark Pope Wait, Mark video? Pope what video? is that? There's a Mark Pope video? I need to know about this. Oh, I feel like we're missing breaking news, Jay. <laughs> God, it sucks, man, being stuck oh. here. And uh, Don Properdickin from a Maastricht Holland says, I think Dirty Works is the best. R.I.P. Norm. Talk about Norm MacDonald. Norm MacDonald. That was another <sighs> God, he was extremely funny. Yeah. Extremely funny. Yeah. I will say their new uh, Saturday Night Live's new little uh, well, not new. They've been around a bit, but they they're they're good on the weekend update. Yeah, they're good. There are a few years it was really lame, Don and I was never a Dennis Miller fan. Yeah, he's a little pretentious. I, uh, I never got Don Parmenas says war movies. What is it good for? Yeah. Absolutely nothing. nothing. Hey, I didn't know you knew that. Of course I do. Okay, we're. I like them too. Uh, Colleen jumps in and says, Courtney's Corner, favorite cereal no, pancakes. None. <laughs> none of the above. What? <laughs> but it's really funny. When Jay showed that picture, I knew he'd been to Walmart. You all know what I'm talking about at Walmart. They have that crazy shit, just like they have the crazy um, Pringles or uh, Lay's uh, flavors there. Yeah, for real. They do. And I don't know what it is, but I, I can't believe those are pancakes. This is not something that I would be interested in at all. I'm not really a pancake guy. If anyway. you are a kid, I guarantee. First of all, was this at your eye level or was it on the shelf? Fuck like, yeah, of course it was lower. It was I was like, gonna say it's like the second shelf. Yeah, for sure. It's like at the three foot level. So mm -hmm. the kids go by, I didn't have that. <laughs> uh oh, Courtney. Colleen says drink, but we haven't talked about What is the drink about? What is it? What could be the what drink? What was the drink? Calling Her and Joshua that. must have a uh, special code. What is it? A special code, as the kids say. I don't know. What are our chances of getting Colleen to go to uh, um, 
I thought oh, we need to come to Jamaica. To J- Jamaica with us this summer. Are they? I hope they're good. I hope they're very good. At absolute minimum, we got to get them to go next summer. She is not going to want to go with somebody Wait, who live streams and farts at the same time. I didn't. Yeah, you did. I think you're hearing things. I'm not. I think you're. I'm not hearing things. Are you hearing things. Hey, that bottle over there has hydration in it. Okay, I got Take it. party of it. I prehydrated. You, the pores were ridiculous tonight. Mm. What do you think jo- uh, Colleen and Joshua are doing as, as their drink thing? I don't know. I'm very perplexed. It could be anything. Let's go back to the main scene here. Uh, Archie wants to say, fan site meltdowns and bourbon were made for each other. <laughs> <laughs> I may be up for a couple more hours. Well, especially Kentucky, right? I mean, Hell can yeah. you imagine how many of those people are so so drunk on bourbon up there yes it could happen i mean it could happen it is happening it is live (laughs) i used to be one of those people i used to be one of those uk fans that would get really upset about shit this is like 1993 something like that that was before after you were you melty i'm sorry it had to be before because you currently are a uml fan (laughs) I literally had a uh, silly me. I dropped a uh, shit on Louisville the other day, and my friend Ian was like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> uh, Colleen says farting and live streaming is my favorite combo, next to the pancakes. So that is not what the drink is. It's it is not, not I, a, I it's not a farting thing. Is. I wonder what it is. Oh, I wonder what it is. I don't know. Ayu Taxman, who is a one of our best uh, members of our site, he 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 would never say anything that would get him banned at our site. Mm-mm. Since I got banned over there a couple of years ago for telling them I appreciated their delicious bourbon after a loss to Auburn. <laughs> Why would you ban somebody for that? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Uh, I don't appreciate anything about y'all except your bourbon. Maybe that was how it went. <laughs> Dude, I know, I know their moderator over y'all, there. Y'all suck. He bourbon is be, great. You should not get banned for that. That's bullshit, man. <laughs> uh, let's see. Don says their stream is like a big game of presidents and assholes. I mean, you could say ours is as well. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, man. <laughs> JG and Courtney are streaming and they're fucking lame, bro. They're so old. I don't know what it's good for. Uh, Kanuma says, you know, Tolstoy almost named War and Peace War. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Although sometimes. Can you have sexual war? No, you have makeup sex. That's what it's called. Is that when you and I? That's when Jay's a douche. On purpose? You guys are like, damn, you <laughs> uh, He says it was his mistress that insisted on him naming it War and Peace. I did not know that. Was she hot? Do you have a picture? I don't think there's pics. How long ago was it? Uh, Buck fifty says turning in late is Cloudmates finally making their own stuff. The answer is no, not mm-hmm. yet. But they will be this year, I believe. This calendar year in twenty twenty four, I think they're going to do it. And my summary is: don't spend the money on the allocated one hundred ninety nine dollar bottle. If you're going to go for Cloudmates, you feel like, hey, I want to try it. Go ahead and hit this sucker. Which one is that? This is the uh, was it six year six year special reserve one hundred ten proof. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, and it's like 50 bucks. Was it? Should I try it again? Yeah, I think I should. Yeah. I think this should be your last try of the night, though. Wait, you're... Mm-hmm. My last try of the night is going to be about 11.30 when I tell you I want to... Go to sleep? No, that wasn't where I was going with that. Wait, Corey says, sing two oh, bars. don't do this, Corey. Corey says, sing two bars of your favorite 80s song, J.J. I will do that. Do you know what song it's going to be? What song do you think it's going to be, Courtney? Minute work. There's a room where the light won't find us. Holding hands while the walls come tumbling down. When they do, I'll be right behind you. Keep going. So glad we've almost made it. So sad they had to fade it. Everybody wants to rule the world. 
Yay. Nice. Mm. Okay. That sounds good. Uh, Kanuman says, please tell me somebody gets that reference. Let's what see reference? what. What was your reference? What did Kanuman said? Uh, hold on. Uh, I got it right here. It was his mistress that insisted on him naming it War and Peace. I did not get that one, bro. No, but. Bubby Dose is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I don't know if you were on earlier, but we were discussing you prior to, I think, you joining us because we were discussing about how you came downstairs and you're like, you guys do a YouTube show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. I'm probably thinking, hey, amazing. do you monetize that? You go, fuck no. <laughs> no, we just drink and have fun. <laughs> we're just here to hang out, bro. Uh, uh, Becky, who is still here. Becky Courtney, Hayes? At 10 p.m.? First of all, she knows that it's everybody wants to rule the world because uh -huh. she fucking knows her 80s music. Okay. No, 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 no. I... Unless Wait she a says minute. Seinfeld. 9.58. Leif! Every time I hear that song, I think of the movie Real Genius. It was absolutely in Leif. Real Genius. It was the final song in Real Genius. Yes. When the guy has the laser come in and then it makes his whole house blow up with popcorn. I I've been there, bro. I've had that happen. <laughs> Wait, you've been there when your whole life was with popcorn? We will fucking love Leif, dude. It's this guy fucking stuff. We do have man. a case of popcorn now. We probably could make that happen. Well, now you're making... <laughs> that was my mom's case of popcorn. Uh, Corey says these pretzels are making me thirsty. Where the fuck you at, bro? At the house. Get you some... Hydrate. 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 Uh, AU Taxman important. says, first wave vibes. Now do some flock of seagulls. Hold on, bro. Oh, wait. He's going to get the hairdo for you. What's that shit you drink now? What's that stuff? I was falling in love. Wait, what? Liquid Ivy. Thank you. Uh, Flock of Seagulls. So you got Iran. Everybody knows that one. The Space Age Love Song. And uh, Wishing. If I had a photograph of you or something to remind me, I wouldn't spend my life just wishing. That's what I'm not with you. This is the only three uh, Flock of Seagull songs I know, though. I'll be honest with you. Corey says that hair is the tits. <laughs> Wait, my hair? Uh, the tits. Stop it. <laughs> All right, well, I'm good. I'm so glad Lay B is with us tonight. That really means a lot to me. Thank we were talking you, about Leigh. Neil earlier. No, we're not talking about Neil. I was talking about Neil earlier. I'm not talking about Neil we're now. We're not talking about Neil now. Well, Leif, 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 we appreciate you joining us. Thank you for joining the Bourbon Boys. Leif understands. That's the great thing about Leif. Leif is an independent thinker. Wait, what the uh hell? -huh. What's this? He's uh, an independent thinker. So, Jay, I what chose this, this guy over this guy. Because of price point, what did you end up? What is your conclusion? We're talking about our highest ranked based on. Well, we didn't. So, cousin Becky's bottle, we didn't have to pay for it. So, that, that was definitely my highest. No, I'm saying if I was to choose, if I had to choose, I would choose this one. So. Uh oh, Colleen is out. Colleen and possibly Joshua. I believe she is on Eastern time. So. Thank you, and I believe you probably have to go work with young children, so God bless you tomorrow. Kinnaman just says Taco Bell, nothing else added. Um, that might be in the cards tonight because here's the thing. This is one night I don't have to get up and go to work in the morning. I am so excited. That is absolutely true. I am so excited. That is absolutely true. I don't have to be anywhere until 8 a.m. It's like so exciting. Corey says, let's talk about Neil Peart instead. Courtney, thoughts? Oh, don't make Jay cry. Do you love him? Jay does. Courtney's seen him a bunch. I have seen him a bunch. And uh, Late Beast says, love y'all, and you guys have been in my prayers this Aww, week. That is really you, sweet. Leif. Thank you, Late. That's very Leif. kind. We appreciate that. Very yeah, kind. thank you, bro. Very kind. Uh, Late, you're... He's a baller. There's, He's a baller. There's a lot of great folks over at the Rebel Grove community. Not Neil, but the other folks. And uh, Leif is probably at the top. Leif's uh, a baller. Yeah, Jeff Martinez is awesome. Uh, Sammy's great, too. But uh, Leif's probably the best of them. Of course. But not Neil. Especially when he shows up on the permanent balloon. I mean, there are 24,000 people. Hold on. Here's the and great he has to fight his way into the comments. Here's section. the crazy thing about this. He's on Eastern Time Zone, too. So. Whew. You folks. 
Man, I got you. What are we going to do about Colleen? How are we going to no, get Colleen? No, it's about that time, though, Jed. It's about that time. Oh, 10 o'clock? It's about that time. Is there anything we forgot to do? I don't think so. Do we hit our secret bourbon? We hit the secret bourbon. Do we do Courtney's Corner? We do Courtney's Corner. <laughs> Jay has to just have a few little memories, you know, provided for him. And then we got to do Taco Bell, too? We're going to do something. Something. Something? Something. No, I don't want to do Taco Bell. We're going to do something. Oh, you want to go to um, Waffle House? No. <laughs> Fuck no. Hell no. Uh, oh, Lace says now he's central. Okay, there cool. There you go. He's in Owensboro, so it's a little bit. Oh, Owensboro, that's right. The used cows is like the LaRue County is right there where you remember the used cows? Yes, that is one of my favorite signs of all time. Used cows available. It says um, used cows for sale, and I'm like, isn't that hamburger? <laughs> no, I was going to say, isn't that AO Pies? Oh, that's not nice. That's not nice. Not nice. If they're 50 okay. years old, they're probably used. I All right, mean, so what? So what are you saying about this fifty-year-old? Oh, oh, I got the best compliment today. I have to share this with y'all. So I'm training somebody, and the and the person I'm training today says, as she says, "Well, how old are you?" And I said, "Well, I'm 50. And she goes, oh, "You don't look any older than 47." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I was like, "Thank you so much." 47. That is, that is so nice of you. You got like. Three years or two years. Ago. That was that was the best compliment. Wow. <laughs> no, but the best compliment today is when the four year old told me, Miss Connie, I like your hair. <laughs> and I said, I like your hair too. <laughs> but that was I mean, you don't look a day over forty seven. <laughs> How old are you like forty eight or forty nine? <laughs> you know I'm fifty years old. <laughs> I'm five oh. Five oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Miss Cordy, um, do we gotta wrap it up? We gotta wrap it up. Yeah. It's time. I don't know, it's getting about that time. We had a, a great time with Clyde Mays. The red and the uh mm, I don't know if you can say that, but the red and the uh the wood colored. That was mm -hmm. good. I like those. The barman was good? Yes. For thirty six. Wait, hold on, mm. Cor Corey says your forty seven year old ass looks good. Corey, he's trying to make up so he doesn't fight with me this weekend. <laughs> oh, that's right, because Corey knows he's got trouble. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Archie says, calm down, UK folks. You're hiring Mark Pope, not the Pope. I don't know if Archie was on earlier when he heard the, uh, if he heard the JB comment of he was waiting for the white smoke out of Rep Arena before. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> that pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> says, we have not done the Knuman's Collection oh. segment tonight. What is the Newman's collection? <laughs> yeah, what is that, bro? I'm kind of concerned. <laughs> uh, Bubby Doo uh, 3 says, good night, y'all. Enjoy the live. Well, appreciate he's had you, a lot of physical labor today. We know this. So yeah, we appreciate I've seen you. It. Please join us next time. Thank you for Thank joining. Thank you, bro. I was, I, that's just some shit that I didn't want to do because my mom, I was just kind of. We physically couldn't do that. Well, We're too old to do that. Yeah. When you're 50, when you're 50 years old, you hire people. <laughs> Uh, what else we got here? Otax is great show, y'all. Enjoy it as always. Appreciate Thank your you. tag. And uh, Kanuman says that is so random. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Go back. What did he call it? He called it what? Kanuman's what? Kanuman's collection. Kanuman's collection. Yes. And uh, Raven says per, uh, Neil Peart's interdependence is top notch. Talking about how he can do he can, limb limb independence. He can kind of. Well, so can the guy from. Um... Def Leppard, right? <laughs> His name is Rick Allen, and he's only got one arm. Pretty, he's no, only got one arm. I, Jay, that was pretty good for me, right? He's only got one arm. That's what uh, Sticks and Enya does, right? You love Sticks. That's what I know. You love Sticks. <laughs> you met Sticks. I yeah. did. All right, we're going to wrap it up there, guys. Oh, whoa, hold on, bro. Don Properdickin jumps in. JG singing Everybody Wants to Rule the World in two relaxed acapella was solid gold. <laughs> Y'all are good folk to be around. Warren and Mingo Prayers, JT. I appreciate you, Don. Thank you. Everybody no, 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 wants enough. to lick my ball. Okay. Cheers. Thank you for joining the Bourbon Blend. Everybody no, no, no. wants to lick your home. No, no, no. 
it's time to go. It's almost that time. Time to go. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, so a couple things I want to say. First of all, if you guys are going to be partying in Orange Beach this weekend, peace. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you. Second of all, I want to say thank you to you for being a rock this whole yeah. week. And you, oh, you've so been sweet. so amazing with my. So I was sweet. so upset about my mom dying. So sweet. So and sweet. You, you've been such an anchor. Thank I like you. it. All right. Third thing is, I'm very grateful for your boobies. All right. Well, thank you all for joining the Bourbon Fourth Blend. Fourth thing is, no, I'm, no, no. We're, we don't need. We okay. don't need four. <laughs> so thank you all for joining the Bourbon Blend. We appreciate all sixteen thousand of you for being here all the way to the end, and uh, we will see you next week on Thursday at eight p.m. Join us then. Cheers.